All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to uh, the start of a brand new challenge run. Uh, this will be the Rito run, which is one of the major ones because, well, we already did the Gerudo, we did the Zora, and technically, well, we didn't do a Gorn, but we did a Drill Shaft run. So we did three of the major regions runs, but uh, Rito would be the last of the four, uh, if we're counting it like that. And I'm excited. There's a lot of, uh, you know, ranged weapons, given that they're Rito. Uh, no heavy two-handed ones, but there's the feathered edges, the feathered spears, uh, and a lot of bows. So, you know, it's kind of like the Zora run, where there's going to be a lot of weaker weapons that we have to deal with. But, you know, it's all about quantity, uh, racking up. And I put the objective and uh, just the rules for the run in the panels down below. Also can be accessed with uh, the run command and stream chat. So feel free to check that out and check out always the panels below because I always update it with run info and stuff like that. So welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Uh, so let's just go right into it. So we're uh, overriding the ancient run save. New game right there on master mode like always. Let's go. <laughs> welcome everyone. Let me see Minecraft pig. Okay, why not? Uh, well, which one we got? Um, this is Piggy. Yeah. This is Penny. It's a saddle Piggy, and uh, this one's Mud. So we got three of them. So you know, we got the whole family. <laughs> there we go. I, I have an army. So <laughs> they're all my dudes. <laughs> okay. They can watch from afar. Yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, we're just starting out. Just, yeah, let me. Yeah. All of the children. This will be exciting though. So usually for the stream, so for those of you who have been here before for a past stream runs, the first like 45 minutes is just, is just like the plateau. So it's pretty much straightforward. Uh, not too different from the other ones, because there's really nothing we do on the plateau but clear it fastly. So. Wake up, Link. Wake up, Link. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just the usual stuff. Everything looks good. I'm pretty prepared. Um, I put an announcement on the Discord. Uh, usually I make the maps for my... Uh, my challenge runs, but you can check this one out early. I just put in the announcements. Um, just, you know, of all the locations. Most of the weapons are, it's pretty much just in, like, the, um, the Hebra and the Bantha regions. There's some along the way, like, there's one pretty close to the plateau, uh, just to the west of it. So, we'll be picking that one up first after we clear it, so. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Hmm. Use my videos for your Breath of the Wild play. It's been so helpful. Awesome. I'm glad to help. Uh, this is your first stream. You love the YouTube videos, especially the ones where I go over stats of weapons and things. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, those have been fun to make. All those were pretty much last year I made those. A couple this year, and I have, like, one more big one. But by that time, the sequel's going to be pretty close, hopefully. So that'll be exciting. So, yeah. Let's go here. Everything's looking good. Mm. Okay, so it'll be a pretty normal run through. I guess the only thing we can get on the plateau, maybe some choo choo jellies because you need some fire choo choos to upgrade the the, the snow coal set. So that's what we'll be using for the run, and it'll be good to get it up a bit. And of course, we can always change the color uh, using elementals and fire. <laughs> Sheikah slate. Our problems a lot always. Uh, so it's pretty much the same rules as my other challenge runs. I can just go over them really quick. So just uh, Rito armor and weapons. Um, all Divine Beasts and the finale. Master mode, but that's just something we always do. Uh, <laughs> and then um, only Revali's Gale for the champion ability. Because, it, you know, it's fitting for that. Um, and mandatory items are okay. And then our objective for this run is the eight quest. Uh, eight cast quest, my bad. Because we always do, like, one little side objective related to the region. Like, for the Gerudo one, we did the Thunderhelm. The Zora one, just uh, actually killing the lion on top of the mountain instead of just passing by and getting the arrows. So, this will be kind of fun. Um, it'll be a bit of travel, but not too bad, considering, uh, considering well, Rito's. Should be good at flight. Maybe, you know, use some good paragliding wind bombs. It'll be fitting. We use that regardless, but, uh, 
Maybe that Rito charm will help us. Link, <laughs> you are the light. Our okay. light. Happy to be here. Love your streams and videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's always really fun getting to, well, just go and stream this more because I've only done quite a few. This, I guess this will be challenge run number seven-ish, um, seven or eight. <laughs> it's been a bet and the have all been this year. So there we go. Let's go out. So it's kind of a bit of a speed play. Just get through this. I'll pick up some two shoe jellies. Any sort of ingredients are good because we're gonna have to sell stuff, um, make money. Cause uh, it's a couple thousand for the whole Rito set. But I have a few tactics. Uh, there is a person at the stable by the Tabantha Bridge I can help. Um, and like, it's just gonna be a lot of loose stuff, but it shouldn't be too bad to get a couple thousand uh, to start with. Make sure to get some good gems. Uh. <laughs> Old man. Yeah, the guy you can scam for 500 rupees. Yes, precisely. Uh, so, get some free stuff. There we go. Eileen Shroom and Beetle. Make sure to get everything to start with. There's always like extra stuff that spawns here because it's like the first thing you'll see in the game kind of thing. Just so I don't miss it. There's always that beetle on the tree. And the previous one. <laughs> Might as well actually get them. Because they're free uh, bugs. And birds like bugs. So. Um, I should do a random run where I spin a wheel. For like a different armor weapons. That could be kind of fun. I consider that. Uh, has like that RNG factor like the amiibo run. That could be fun, honestly. Whoosh. What about the cast Blood Moon Shrine? That'll be something we have to make sure we do on the first go. Because uh, realistically, in a run like this, there's probably only going to be like two Blood Moons, maybe three. So we just got to make sure we're over there as soon as we see a Blood Moon. So we'll have to time it well. We're not going to take the apple. No cutscene. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, for those of you tuning in, the rules of the run are in the panels, like always. Yeah, update it always before the streams, just so it's there. And just the info. So, usually all these work, because I know there's a lot of new people here. Uh, I start the streams, well, today, and we just go every day till completion. So, usually that means today, tomorrow, and then Monday. Uh, it's usually a big stream each day, around the same time, so. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Cass's music just gets stuck in your head. Yeah, it's it's catchy. I I love the addition of Cass. I just like a traveling, you know, musician type character in this world. It's it's really nice. I just love, you know, randomly wandering when you hear a theme. It's also kind of cool because with the eight cast quests, uh, they're all kind of in a similar area. If you notice, uh, well, can't see right now, but they're all pretty much like a U-shape around the world. Like one of the quests is up here, then there's another one like here. And pretty much all eight of his quests just take place in like this U shape or on like the bottom half of the world. So I never noticed that until really recently. I guess, you know, there's no significance behind it. Just like, cool, you can kind of go down the line or do whatever. <laughs> Whoop. Mm. Okay, so the object here is no dots in the plateau, <laughs> which is very doable. But just no dumb mistakes, please. <laughs> but taking stuff's fair game. Mm. How long will the stream be? Usually I go for about like three and a half each each stream, I would say. And this stream, like the first like bit is just plateau. So the run doesn't really kick off till we get out of it. <laughs> mm. But yeah, at least like the first Divine Beast today, pretty much we're gonna be doing uh just a lot of our general, you know character building stuff. So getting our initial weapons, um, getting, you know, our armor, maybe hoping for some upgrades, maybe a start at the cast thing. So yeah. Read a village at night as wonderful music. It does. It's so nice. I love the completely reduxed, uh, well, Rito theme from Windmaker. 
and yeah it'll be the reader region right away because that's where all the important stuff is um so be smart to prioritize that yeah let's skip that Great Plateau Tower. Mm. Seventh run? Yeah, I mean, I guess technically out, out of the release ones, yeah. I have some other stuff recorded uh, that will be video, so. That would be nice. Also, to make... I'm not sure if my camera skipped. Okay. Uh, it, it is a newer camera. It just helps a bit more with the lighting and it won't get randomly blurry like my past one did sometimes. So, hmm. it just let me know if there's any sort of issues with it. There shouldn't be, but also just new tech. I want to make sure <laughs> we're fine. Hmm. What order did I do the Divine Beast in my first playthrough? Uh, it was Ruta, then Naboris, then, uh, Meadow, then uh, Rudania. Because just like, Ruta's just like, that's the one most people start with. They're just kind of in the way. Uh, when the Boris, I just really want to see the desert. Uh, so, so I'm happy that I did. But, you know, just kind of natural progression after that. Ended off with Death Mountain. And hey, Yarn, thank you so much for the Prime sub. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Is it possible to do a Goron only run with the normal rules? I mean,. You just wouldn't get very far, or it wouldn't be, you know, you, you can't do most of the Divine Beast because there's no Goron bow. And so the only Divine Beast you can take down without a bow is Meadow because uh, you can blow up the, the cannons around it using just Sheikah bombs. Um, but like, basically a Goron run would just be just going to Meadow and then just rushing Hyrule Castle afterwards, which is not too different than the Drill Shock run we did. So like, there's not really too much of a point, I would say. Yeah, so instead of doing Goron, we did Drill Shaft in its place because he can't do a full, really Goron run with the lack of bow. Um, boom. Whoa. What tracker do I use for the 100% run? Like the, the master mode one we did? I I use mainly just the Breath of the Wild interactive map. You can just Google search it. Uh, but for some side things, you can use the Breath of the Wild object map, which is a bit more specific, and you can find specific objects that could be helpful. Uh, that's just like a general thing. I usually use those for these runs to find like all of the uh, equipment right away. So like if you want to search for, I don't know, like the kite shield, which is the Rito shield, like you can uh, just type in kite shield and it'll show you all of the locations, which there's only four of them and none of them respond. So uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll try to hoard on to all of them. Let's skim this. Hmm. Oh yeah, Rudania doesn't need a bow. Okay. Let me clarify this. Okay, so Rudania does need a bow, but you need some sort of wooden weapon uh, to carry the blue flame in uh, the beast. And if you don't have that wooden weapon, your alternative is a bow. So if you don't have a bow on top of the wooden weapon, which Gorons don't have either, you can't do it. So it's, it's either or. The bow is pretty much always a substitute for wooden weapon stuff because you can carry a blue flame on an arrow tip. So. <laughs> Favorite run so far? Uh, that's hard. <laughs> that's so hard. I get asked this a lot. I'm just like, I don't know. I really appreciated how rewarding the Guardian run was because, or the Ancient run, just because you got so just freakishly OP. Like, it was so nice, like near like the middle end of that, uh, even though it was a hard start. But I don't know, I, I appreciate the Grudo one a lot, just because I really like just the Grudo setting and just, uh, you know, all the different weapons. So that was pretty fun. So maybe between those two? <laughs> but the Amiibo run was just fun because that was my first two. And it was just very different, because every time you play it, it is different. Also, yeah, I appreciate just getting to play through the plateau right away, even though it's pretty similar. Uh, just because I like ch just chatting a lot and just answering questions that, uh, you know. Otherwise, I might be focusing a lot or too much towards, like, just doing the run later on. So I can answer a lot of stuff now. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Trying to get the kite shield from shield surfing, but it's so hard. Yeah, it's it's a specific time. You got to get between, uh, what was it, two, 
two minutes and five seconds and two minutes and 20 seconds because every single time slot you finish in is a different reward. And the kite shield's just one of those slots. Mm. The real question, what am I going to be naming my horse in this run? Surprisingly, I already thought of that. So you will see my excellent genius idea when it comes to it. Uh, it's not that genius. Uh, if you just notice the naming scheme of all my other horses, it's pretty... Yeah. <laughs> we, we have a lot of good ones. Uh, <laughs> Hyrule Bass. Arbiter was a pretty good one. Uh, one of them was straight up just new horse. <laughs> well, we got a Pona once. Uh, cow horse, yeah. All good ones. Okay. <laughs> Someone already said what I was going to name my horse. <laughs> I'm not going to say who, but someone just said it. <laughs> I'm not going to say. But, yes. Surprising. It's not very uh, creative, but it's what I just liked. All right. Okay. I'll just gun through this. It should be pretty simple. I, I forgot what order I usually do this in. I just kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, always let that muscle memory kick in when doing the plateau for the 18th time. Because why not? Okay. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Well, we got the other thing. Okay, I don't know why I couldn't... Momentum. <laughs> Might as well. Where did you get the bottle? Uh, it was a gift from my girlfriend who made it. Uh, I get asked that question a lot because it looks cool, which I appreciate it. But I have some, like, just very commonly asked questions just in my pack. Uh, which... You know what? I don't have that pin in my Twitch. Maybe I should. Uh... <laughs> Is it a command? I think it is. Let's hope so. It is. So if you want to check out just for commonly answered stuff, because I, in some ways I have no problem answering it, but it's like if I get it a lot, it helps. Just, you know, that's just common questions I get. <laughs> All right, hey, Platinum. Yeah, uh, you just started modding for us here and for the YouTube the other day. So, uh, <laughs> welcomes to you. Also, you, Scott, from the Discord. How to move the boxes fast? Just use the gyro. Uh, really pays to use motion controls in this. So, I just always flip, flip. <laughs> That's literally it. But it's, you know, helpful. I see some people just like, they start playing this game, and it's always people like never really owned Nintendo, like in any recent year. And they play Breath of the Wild, and they're just like, motion controls? You go to options and immediately turn them off. And it's like, it's. <sighs> It's so hard to control the bow without motion, because it's like, they're just used to sticks, but sticks are very... They're, they're never really made for, like, aiming. Uh, even when it's used in a lot of games, there's always, like, very heavy magnetism, uh, and just a lot of, like, shooters and stuff like that. And Breath of the Wall has none of that. Like, its compensation is the motion, so it's like, if you're not using uh, motion controls, there's no sort of magnetism or helping assist that you get in, like, other games that you're used to that don't have motion. So, it's, it's pretty tricky. <laughs> And that's why it feels a lot more stiff, because it's not meant to be played without motion. Uh, obviously, it's preference. It's like if you really don't like them, then, you know, you don't have to have them. But it is so much more helpful, so. And plus, uh, I guess what I just or came to in realizing, uh, when it comes to aiming with, like, just motion, I feel like gyro works better for third-person games, while point controls, like what the Wii had, works better for first-person Uh and I feel like some of the ports that we got of older games that uh, had point controls, like, like for example, Skyward Sword used the bow for, uh, it used, like, the point controls for it. But for the remake, it uses the gyro. And it doesn't really work as well with the gyro. But that is what I noticed. First-person games work better with the point sensor. Third-person works better with the gyro. So, Breath of the Wild's case, 
Splatoon's case, it works really good. But games that try to use it first person, not really. Uh, not as well, at least. So, <laughs> sorry. Whole tangent about that. Uh, that's fun. Mm. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay. So, I guess we'll just go bomb. Mm. Bomb. <laughs> Maybe stasis cryonis. Because it just, it's kind of in that path. Okay. Yeah, plus the bomb's good for the stasis shrine because I can beat it without weapons in. That's basically how we do it. Because uh, the plateau, you don't have to have to kill anything. Um, it is fun on the first go, but it's like, most things are skipped after that. Whoosh. I guess if there's anything along the way. I, I know there are some arrows there, but I kind of skipped them. But that's fine. Our first thing won't be a bow. We will be actually passing a cast quest pretty early on, but we won't have the bow to complete it. It's the one where you gotta pierce the uh, the arrow through the two rings. It is gonna be helpful with the Rito bows, though. I will say that. I think this guy's an amber. So I think this will be good. Money is helpful. <laughs> and yeah, uh, Divine Beast wise, yes, we are doing metal first. Plus, it's just fitting too, but that's where we're going to get all of our weapons, so. Rito Bow, I'm pretty sure the closest one will be actually the tower, the Tabantha Tower. Which is pretty awful to climb. Uh, that's like the hardest one, but. It will have a nice bow for us, so I guess we'll go for it, you know? Yeah. The object is no dots in the plateau. <laughs> well, ideally, no dots, but just avoid the plateau one at all costs. Of course they'll be on YouTube. They always are. <laughs> Only all the great eagle bow ones, yeah. That'll be like an unspoken rule. Or <laughs> didn't really put in the rules, but I I never use the champion weapons more than once in these. Cause it's like, I don't know, want to go in with my feathered edge, feathered spear, my bows, no broken bows, and the kite shields. We'll just have to make sure not to break those, because there's only four, don't respawn. One of them is Master Mode 1, so it'll come with a modifier, though, so that'll be good. Because, <laughs> like, ideally, we probably won't see many modified weapons besides those Master Mode chests, because with everything we're killing in the run, we're not really killing enough stuff for everything to hit that next tier, because that's how weapons get scaled. Usually by, like, after the fourth Divine Beast, uh, you'll start finding, or third or fourth, you'll start finding some of those, uh, you know, weaker weapons for the theme run, like having modifiers. But it's only really a couple by that point, because I'm usually pretty stocked up on weapons after the second Divine Beast. And then just get ones as I need after after that, so. Mm. Well, scan amiibo? Uh might do her volleys, honestly. <laughs> I feel like that is fair and fitting. May I call my ride, please? Oosh. Pff, I literally thought we would just get launched. So completely ignore what I did there. I was like, let's walk into it so we get... Okay. Wow. I'm wasteful of my time. Ambu. I like how there's just a random orbit. Does absolutely nothing. But it's there. Okay. Yeah, it, it it's useless. Okay. Well, there we go. On with it. 
this will be number two stamina as always uh especially if we're going to be doing a lot of flight things uh it'll be pretty helpful to have that <laughs> it's not useless it's there to give you a hint that's true but could have been any other object i think that's like the only time a sheikah orb is used just for demonstration not actually for like unlocking something so i can't think of any other one unless there might be i don't know but fair <laughs> okay usually it's nighttime by the time i leave this one <laughs> i think i don't have to deal with the skeletons that always spawn here a little switch shirt chest. Won't begin you this time. Uh, yeah. I don't think there is much here. Oh, yeah, isn't there like a. There's a pretty good sword that's like around here. I'm not gonna get it, obviously, because <laughs> Rito. Uh. I'm gonna get that one Korok, is just why not? We won't be getting uh Hestu right away. I fe feel like we're gonna say that for after the first uh Divine Beast. Because then we'll head over to like the Kakariko area and we'll do the cast stuff that's over there along with Hestu. There we go. Here's weapon that I always forget. I think it's somewhere here. Just for show, uh right there. It's probably one of the most powerful weapons on the plateau. It's just kinda chilling here. Wee. Okay. <laughs> Onwards. That was a detour just for that. But it is helpful. Hi. He tone deaf. Oh. <laughs> okay. He was getting close there. Just a little sussed out. Okay. See, that's the problem. I think... Hmm. I don't know if I should take the climb routes because I probably should cook something, right? Because <laughs> there's those peppers. Oh, God damn it. I forgot it's master mode. He just can't see us because if he pulls out his bow, we're dead. <laughs> you know what? I have a better plan B. Usually I just eat everything while I'm up there and just kind of gun it. <laughs> That is B. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's a bow guy. Yeah. We're safe. <laughs> no monkeying around. Uh. You're still following. Literally. Oh. He almost kicked that into me. <laughs> I'm just like, just not now. Harass me later when I can harass you back. Please. Oop. Good. Okay. Well, it feels weird to be playing base Breath of the Wild after all that relic, so I'm not gonna lie. It's so different. And calm. Go. Uh. <laughs> really found that recently. Oh yeah, the whole sword thing. It, it's just nice to have. Also, if we accidentally pick up anything, we just drop it. Because it's like... It happens probably at least once per run. We just accidentally pick up something because it's like in a loot pile or... I don't know. As long as I don't use it. Are you a bit chilly? No. It's toasty over here. Gotta love video game worlds where just temperature... Like, temperatures just increase. Just... Or decrease just across such a short span. Like, oh yeah. In the same small world, like, there's a whole snowy area. There's... <laughs> Just a whole volcanic mountain right next to it, and a desert right next to a snowy area. Okay, like the elevation ones I get, but some of them are just funny. Obviously, I'm being overly critical for no reason. And I'm not really critical, just funny. Just, I appreciate how there's variety in this game, you know? I'm just going to say that. Because a lot of open world games, it's just like, oh, here's the grasslands, here's the forest, here's the snowy region. And like, plus one <laughs> or something. So I appreciate how this map has like everything.
See, I, I just do need food. Okay. Oh, we have Hallian shrooms. Yeah, we're fine. Right? Yep. We're good. And just make it up there. Hmm. Ugh. Up. Up, up, up. This is the flat area. This is not where you want to be. But it is kind of close, and it allowed me to get some elevation, so we'll kind of go cheese it along the side. There we go. <laughs> okay. That wasn't too bad. But we're not going to get rock shocked at us now. Oh, they're eating all the apples <laughs> from the tree, I think. Oh, no. Those are supposed to be my spoils, Bacoblins. Yeah, we'll get some of the rushies. It'll be quick food, too. Good enough. Uh, one jump and then one at the end. Should give us enough. It's not a bad climb, I just remember messing this up a lot in the past. <laughs> So, no more. Mm. Most annoying thing to do in Breath of the Wild in the beginning, in my opinion. I mean, I guess for challenge drones, just the plateau and getting through dialogue. Because it's just like, oh, only the repetitive stuff. But, like, at its base, though, I really appreciate the beginning of Breath of the Wild. Like, a lot. Like, I feel like it just has one of the best introductions of, like, any game. Because it's just so, like, you know, open without throwing into the entire world. But... You know, there's a lot to do, and even just the plateau, it's a very well-constructed area, so... I love the opening a lot in this game. It just, when I've done it this much, and just for a challenge run, it's more so just, uh... Part I pass through, so... And yeah, you could technically do the infinite kite shield thing if you... Yeah, the same thing as the drill shafts, where you just move it really far. But there's really no need to, I would say, because it just shields, and... Technically, the last you forever if you do good parries with it, so... Okay, he's got a spear, and I don't like that. <laughs> what did I use to uh, stream for my Switch? Just an Elgato capture card. It's a HG60 Pro. It's the one that goes in the computer, so. Just under the video card. <laughs> okay, we can we get it really quick? I don't think so. How long do these challenge runs usually take to complete? Around 10 hours in total, I would say. So across three days. Uh, a little over three hours of stream, usually. So it's like the average. <coughs> Oink. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. So Kite's the only Rito shield. I think there's less variety than like the other two like major race runs, like the Gerudo and Zora. Just by a little bit, because there's only a one-handed sword, a spear, two types of bows, and a shield. So, on top of the Great Eagle, though. But for the other ones, there was, like, at least one or two more weapons, I would say. Like, tiers. I mean, every race technically has a tiered weapon. Like, will Grudo have uh, the scimitars and the, the shields are the two, where it's, like, there's two different types. So, there's, like, the Grudo shield and the radiant shield. Brutal Scimitar, Moonlight Scimitar, uh, the Zora had the two types of spears, and Rito's had the two types of bows on top of the champion one. Mm. But this one's lost because they have two types of bows, but they don't have any two-handed, so. Okay. <laughs> How we do stasis every time. that okay <laughs> that third bomb helps depending on the angle you can get it a bit faster but <laughs> as long as it's out of the slot it's fine okay. yeah the feathered stuff 
You got back in Breath of the Wild because of me? Awesome. The Guardian run, yeah. These ones are fun. That's why I do make the maps and put them in the videos. Uh, just so, you know, if you want to try them out yourself, you can. So. You got into Plateau Down to a Science Mario challenge runs for the last challenge run you did in like 20 minutes. Nice. I probably could and would do them faster, but I kind of just use them to an opportunity just to like, you know, just to chill and like chat. So I'm like really not super speed playing it, but we're getting through it. It's like my warm up kind of. <laughs> but that is cool though. We'll have to admit. Uh, whoosh, 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 whoosh. Okay, I think it's, like, good here, right? I don't know if they were behind me. I, I didn't want to get whacked by a spear. Mm. Yeah, when we're going first, it is... It's the Tabantha area, so... I can just say really quick, I, I put it in the Discord because there's really nowhere I can share it here on the Twitch. Uh, but usually the map that I have in uh, my videos that I show of where stuff is... I have it pretty much complete, actually, and I, I posted it just in the announcement, so feel free to check out the Discord. There's a link to it uh, in the panels. Also, we can put one in chat. So, or it's just the uh, explanation dis Discord command. I think anyone can use it, maybe. <laughs> I guess test it out. <laughs> we'll see. I know I pretty much only use my Twitch to do challenge runs, but there is something, well, some stuff I'm want to do more this year because this is the last theme run we're doing for 2021 because well after i edit this one and the other run uh those will both be up this year but we'll still use twitch for uh, some other things i want to stream because now we finished the skyward sword playthrough on youtube uh and yeah so we talked about some of their zelda stuff and just nintendo stuff in general so we'll probably save those for like weekends <laughs> uh... thank you you scott <laughs> What is the hardest blight and easiest blight for uh, this run? I mean, Thunder Blight is probably still going to be the hardest. I mean, Thunder Blight is always the hardest. But especially here because, uh, well, this run is going to prioritize like bows and stuff. And the one-handed weapons and spear, the feather weapons, are not very strong. And that's basically what we have to use against Thunder Blight. So, oh... <laughs> That's going to be the hardest. We're probably going to do that second, though. So he's not as scaled. So it's less to hit there. Um, easiest? Honestly, metal might just be the easiest. Because we'll have pretty good equipment going into it. Because with those master mode chests you can get. Which are yellow modifiers uh, right off the bat. You can <laughs> have a pretty good start. And it'll just be kind of a, a quick snipe. So ironically, the first one is actually going to be the easiest this time. I'm just eating random stuff. Ah. Okay, there we go. We're doing good. And no need to heal. Oh, there's that guardian. <laughs> See, I always have low health going to the shrine. There's a guardian. And you just have to evade it because then you are one shot. You might be one shot either way. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, well. Okay. Cronus. I'm waiting for that uh full heal after this. It's gonna be exciting. We're really close. So we don't have too much yeah just in the plateau we have like what like a uh, couple <laughs> thingies to sell that was the easiest by far yeah i i kind of figured <laughs> rito bows oh and bomb arrows yeah probably don't even need them because yeah, we can do good Still weird playing with no paraglider. <laughs> oh, he's grooving this time. Ooh, 
would you kindly stop? Whoop! Okay. That is the game over, uh, Beam. We just barely evaded it. <laughs> no game overs. Not yet. This is why I don't permadeath. Uh, okay. None of the plateau in the video now. Not really. Because uh, it's like the plateau is the same every time. So. The run really this is kind of the warm up. And uh, boom. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll actually warm up because we'll be out of the cold. So. And the, uh, you know, Rito gear. Good thing about the Rito run this time is that I can wind bomb early. Yeah, because we'll be getting a bow pretty fast. And yeah, the ancient bow, uh, or ancient run rather, you couldn't get that bow until much later because he actually had to buy it uh, and do all the blue flame stuff. So. Um, yeah, welcome everyone tuning in. Uh, both returning people and uh, all the new faces out here. So, <laughs> yeah. I was excited to be doing a new challenge run and really just starting it uh, pretty soon. We'll get our first Rito piece of gear, which is uh, <laughs> technically the paraglider in this run. I know we get that all the time because it's, you know, the paraglider, but it is a Rito piece of gear, technically. So, it'll fit very well with the aesthetic. Also, thank you, it's Dusty Cat for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. Yeah. As soon as we get enough subs, we can finally add, uh, well... The next emote for the server, which will be the drill shaft one. Because we have all the, our current ones, but uh, the amount of emotes you have are determined by subs. So we have some fun ones right now, but the drill shaft will be next. So <laughs> let's go warp to Shrine of Resurrection and get our paraglider. And thank you, Struben, for uh, the gifted sub. I appreciate that. Awesome. Almost hype train. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Been a long time fan and it's finally time awesome uh this is gonna be exciting so this is almost it we'll just go there um yeah so i do have the map on my second screen we posted it in the announcements channel on our server but i mean generally most of the Rito stuff is just gonna be in you know the path leading to tabantha and like hebra all the kite shields are in like that hebra area like the northern Along with a lot of like uh, the falcon bows, but there's a lot of good stuff leading up to it, including a lot of the the melee weapons. So there's a lot of enemies that hold them, which means that those are respawnable. So that is nice about this run. Um, some of the most easily respawnable stuff are those weaker ones. Uh, the falcon bow, not so much. The only respawnable falcon bow is in Hyrule Castle. Uh, so I mean, we'll probably nab that before the final boss. But by that time, we'll have the champion bow because I'll probably use uh, Rivali's bow, like. Near the end, there. So, I'm going a little bit too south, aren't I? <laughs> My mind went uh, into just all all the starting resurrection mode. So, whoosh, dive animation. Yeah. Thank you, Struben, for the gifted sub. Awesome. Whoosh. If you're watching the Guardian run, it was great. Thank you. <laughs> There's a lot of fun in that one. I think that's an opal in there. Is this glitchless? Yes, besides wind bombs. We always use wind bombs, so I think that's fair. the bogus modifiers too okay i know it takes a bit um i think the last thing to get its final modifier is actually the feathered spear uh what's the first i i think it's a swallow bow uh <laughs> i don't know i don't fall with it too much i just when i see it i see it sort of thing hello yeah run up to me whoop juke <laughs> so long as we're doing this we are fine at this point wind bombs aren't really glitch that's true like they it's, I mean, they're an exploit. I guess all exploits are glitches in a sense, because that just refers to something kind of unintended, uh, you know, manipulating the game mechanics, but it feels right, you know? Uh, 
That's why I like it. There's other sort of movement glitches and stuff, but they feel just more like cheesy. Wind bombs feel like they're an actually feature in the game, even though they are an exploit. Stamina, of course. Uh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Duracell, for uh, the tier one sub. And Hype Train, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Aw. Yeah, mainly been using Twitch just for challenge runs and some other things in the past, but I do want to do more, just especially these next like two months uh, over the holidays and stuff. Because we talked about doing uh, what stuff with Link's Awakening, like the Switch game, uh, like a master mode run of that, because I never tried the hard mode. Also, just some other stuff, so. And we'll save YouTube for uh, Relics of the Past and maybe a little Age of Calamity, so. <laughs> How many deaths would I leave would leave me satisfied with this run? Ideally, I want to hit uh, nowhere in the double digits. I feel like I can. Like I mo I mostly do at least get kind of close. Uh, minus the ancient run because I was well. There's a lot of one shot scenarios, but usually in these ones, just more so goofs because it's like they're not the hardest. I would say uh, the ancient run had a tricky start. Um, amiibo run it could be just you know a war of attrition. Um, even the Blood Moon run, that was pretty tricky. And, and the Drill Shop, because it was just a big a combat challenge at the end. But I would say for, like, the themed runs, like, Sheikah, Zora, like, all this, they're hard, mind you. Like, it, I mean, hard's relative. Like, they're still tricky because they're a challenge run, but they're not, like, hard, hard, you know? Like, it's just hard because you have to manage more things, sort of thing. Hard compared to doing, like, a normal playthrough. Normal master mode, I guess. I was the last leader of Hyrule. Okay. The kingdom which no longer exists. Mm. So if you don't mind, I'm going to take a really quick uh, bathroom break. Just so I'm uh, refreshed for everything coming up ahead. But yeah, it is going to be a straight uh, bolt after this. The Give me like one minute. We will be right back. I'll uh, see what y'all post in the comments uh, right afterwards. We'll let uh, Mud watch the stream. So it was there we go. That my life was taken away from me. And since that time... Be right back. Chair stream and mud. Okay, so bathroom. Ah, no, stop. Get back there. You can watch the cutscene. It's a cool cutscene. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age-long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. Interception. These Ooh. relics okay. are the divine beasts. Hey, I'm back. I have the mind of a child. Uh, okay. We also found Let's go do this. Uh, a mess. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Yeah, that was just a temporary chair stream. <laughs> Master Sword only run? Probably not, because, like, it's just a lot just to get Master Sword. I like doing things that are more, you know, has a nice challenge to it and has a nice aesthetic. So, I guess. That's why I never did, like, a just traditional, you know run or night's run or that sort of run rather a night's run could be fun um using the power of these ancient relics 100 years ago there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side eat his raisin meatloaf when this become a thing why i've been hearing it recently i love raisins but i prefer my raisin and uh and bread loaf rather than meatloaf thank you very much i love raisins though which i know Half the people here probably hate me for it, but it's okay. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions. A name that would solidify a okay. unique bond. Ugh. As soon as this princess part of the cutscene is over, we'll skip it. And the rest of and the we go. were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. Whoosh. 
fucking day. Yeah. Thank you for the hype train, guys. <laughs> Yay. I always forget that's a feature, but it's like, I see it. Four subs. Appreciate it. Whoosh. Choo choo. <laughs> the Guardian theme. I love this cutscene a lot. Like, I just love how the game's so open that it hits you with just like a six minute cutscene, just like uh, a really neat just background story, just context of the world that you're kind of questioning. I feel like the story pacing this game is just really nice. I love how this is just the last thing you see after the plot, so it just adds some more context and just history behind the world. And you kind of just uncover little bits on top of that. So I really love this game's approach. Uh, just focuses a lot more on past events and just the lore of the world rather than just, you know, a continuous story, which just works for this game. I feel like for the sequel, they're going to change it up, and that's okay. But this game, I appreciate it as is. Hmm. However, the princess survived. Okay. Alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Okay. That princess was my own daughter. I think we're ready. I'm really excited. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, yes, the first piece of Rito gear. Uh, technically, the paraglider. Has a nice logo on it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm excited. There's going to be a lot of good stuff along the way. Okay, got our first piece of uh, Rito gear here. <laughs> it's gonna match the aesthetic really nice. The paraglider. Um, so we'll have to go onwards quite a bit. Most of the stuff we find is gonna be in the Hebra and Tabantha areas, uh, but there's actually a couple of good things along the way that we'll have to nab, so. We shall do that. <laughs> I mean, that's something. Whoosh. Okay. So any loose foods. It's actually going to be a shrine that's uh, pretty close by. It's like the one by the stable, actually. Mm -hmm. So it makes me think, which which horse should we get? There's a few different spawn packs. There's one right outside the plateau. And we can just ride that right to the stable. Um... Hmm. Yeah, it'll be a quick way over. Most of the Rita weapons lie in the Hebra and Tabantha areas. Uh, hmm. A horsey. Hmm. Horsies. No, horsies, get back. I should have went right on top of it, but bit of a mess. Okay, let's go off here. How do they see me? <laughs> like, what is up with their ears today? Sonic ears. Mm. Like. What, what are they seeing? What are they freaking out from? Okay. Well, I have a bit of a good tactic for catching horses in the early game, if you didn't land on top of them. <laughs> the horse literally has 360 vision. I don't know how or why, but we got the autosave from the Korok, which spawns right next to the horse uh, pack. Ha. Okay. Come on. I like that one. The one to the left. Or in back now. Mm. Okay. They're all turned different ways. I really want that. 
I'm not gonna get her, am I? Of course, their vision is absolutely jacked. I don't want you. You remind me too much of Hyrule Bass. We need something new and fresh. Hello, horse. Whoop! No, you, ah! You asshole. Okay, there we go. Let's get it. Ah. Horsey, yeah! There we go. This will help us get over. Okay. <laughs> Before we get our proper wings, we need a, a, a carrier to help us out first. So, oh, there's another spawn right there. <laughs> okay, I, I got a perfect name for this dude. have to tame it here and there. Ah, stop. The apples will come in handy. We'll feed it some. Whoop. <laughs> He's freaking out bad. Yeah, before we make it to the Rito area, there's going to be uh, a few good weapons actually just right along the path. Do I not know my routes? I'm like thinking I know my routes, but <laughs> Nope, we're good. Yeah, it's just gonna be that shrine actually uh, the first one I gotta pay attention, but also Here you eat up. I Think you can only feed uh registered ones. Oh, maybe not. Well, the love symbols didn't appear, so maybe that didn't work. <laughs> have you ever tried it before? I have not. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we'll just go right over here. Boom. <laughs> Squirrel. Oh, weren't fast enough to kill it. We're kind of animals now, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we can't kill birds. Uh, or we can. We'll just be the supreme bird. Thank you, Struben, for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Okay. Mm. Just right here. <laughs> Yes, the stable. Our first objective. Yeah. Beetle. Okay. Uh, look what I've got. I have got uh, just some minor stuff to sell. Got our plateau loot. Got our opal. Ambers. Nope, that still works. Okay, looking peppy today. Oh. We're all the way back here. Ah. Okay, I know how. Hi. Okay, let's register. Yeah, we need to get around the world. So, uh, for a Rito, I think we need to get uh, a carrier pigeon to get around. Pidge. Pigeon. There we go. Our own personal carrier pigeon. Boom. Take horse. Pigeon. We got it. All right, pigeon. Oop. <laughs> there we go. We got Mr. Pigeon here. Your first destination isn't too far away. Just right in uh, here. I need to like soothe this guy. He is going crazy. <laughs> oh, 
All right, just our first stop here. Ooh, a shrine. Nice. All right. So, surprisingly, uh, this is going to be the first Rita weapon, which it's very close to the plateau. Nothing else is this close. Everything else is further. Where should we go? Should we go? Hmm. Like that. We get the ball. The only problem is... I know it's going to be a bit tricky. We'll figure it out. Because you're supposed to have a bow for this shrine. But... Bombs are basically bows, right? Yeah. They can be substituted. Let's see if it's possible. Mm. That is the key, right? Okay. Just the chest right here. And small key. That's step one. <laughs> mm. I didn't actually test to see if this is possible, mind you. I'm just kind of going in it. I'm going to have to reload, save and reload. Because then we could do it. Yeah, before we get that bow. But let's save up. I want to see if the key will save. I never tried it before. And then reload it. The colors do look like a pigeon. <laughs> it's nice. Okay. There we go. Unlock this. <laughs> and boom. And just toss it over. Kind of. Uh, so we'll go like that. This should leave us pretty good, right? Being the shrine without a bow? Yep. Very possible. <laughs> Just cheesing it. Whoosh. Okay, perfect. Mm. So maybe we'll start with that. Is the bow somewhere funny, isn't it? Okay. Yep. Throw this. Hit it. Boom. Just like that. Oh. Ah. Darn. <laughs> I guess it's drone time. Or maybe not. <laughs> Do we have an escape plan? Yeah. Our escape plan is drown. Oh, it was right there. Okay. My bad. <laughs> well, all the new Marvel shows in Disney Plus. Yeah, I saw that. Oh boy. That's a lot. <laughs> and just like that. Look at that chest right there. <laughs> Might as well open this. And we get our first, uh, Rita weapon. A feathered edge. It's their nice, uh, Neatly crafted one-handed sword. This looks so cool. I, I really like it. It's going to dig really well with uh, the other stuff. Hmm. So what's our way of doing this now? <laughs> yep. Like that. Okay, perfect. <laughs> the chest flies. Good. Did it without a bow. Whoosh. Never seen that sword before. There's not too many. Uh, there's a couple enemies like outside the Rito area. Like I think two specifically that have it. The rest is just a couple chests, you know? Yeah, a lot of these uh, theme weapons are pretty rare. That's why I like using them. Uh, the Zora ones are a bit more common than the one. Zora and uh, Gerudo. Well, all of them. I would say, yeah, probably the Rita ones are the most rare. Besides, like, the bows. <laughs> Feathered Edge. 
I don't want to name a horse again. Oh, just based on another object again. <laughs> Okay. Where should we be going? I think our best plan of action will be uh, if we just went up higher a little bit. We do want to make it to that tower, which we can't even see. I'm in a very bad spot, so. <laughs> Here, let's go down. While we ride around, we can uh, soothe our horse a bit, just so it doesn't keep spazzing on us. Because <laughs> that won't be too well. I really like the sheath for this thing, too. It's, it's cool looking. I need a horse Hyrule Bass, let's be honest. Feather and Edge wasn't that bad. True. Also, uh, one thing about it, it doesn't fit the character limit because it's only nine, sadly. Call it the loft wing? Nah. My heart was pretty set in Pigeon. Not gonna lie, this horse and even the sword go good together. <laughs> I really like it. Well. Soothe you, buddy. Okay. Yeah, the horse and the sheath and even the sword go good together. It's really nice. The sheath was an important thing. It has those nice purpley brown hues. Do I like cats? I love cats. I have a bunch myself. <laughs> That's what that uh, emote is. <laughs> okay. Gliok Bridge. <laughs> okay. And it's just up there. So there's uh, going to be one thing before the tower. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and it's going to be a nice spear for us. So... And then the tower, well, I do want to get both the towers, both the uh, Tabantha and the Rito ones, or whatever they're called, the Ridge. I, I don't know. Just the two important towers. Technically, Heroes one and two. So probably those three we'll get, just in general, but we'll get them as we go. Ah, there's the tower. That's going to be a first important stop for us. So we'll do that. And black horses. I like mine. I'm, I'm very proud of it. Hello, Hinox. <laughs> Damn, he destroyed that forest. Yeesh. I wouldn't want to be those trees. Okay, we do want to climb that tower to get a nice weapon that's there. But there's one nice thing actually here first. Oop. Okay. <laughs> Is it Krynos Bridge time? I think it is. Wait a second. Is it in that chest? Wait a second. I think it's in that chest. I don't think we're going to be able to do this yet. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I didn't think that far ahead, honestly. But this will be a nice chance to loot. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, because we don't have a headshot thingy. <laughs> Something to get a headshot. Using the crates won't do enough damage. Because those guys just have a lot of health. And crates only max out like 100 damage per hit. Uh, the baby ones do, that is. Okay, so we come back to that later. <laughs> mm. Okay. 
Maybe once we have a bow, because ideally I just want to be able to headshot the guys. So, if we can do that, that would be nice. Yeah, I can't push them into water really well, I would say. Because they don't, they don't budge too well. Uh, with just a small crate. It e seems easier than it is, but no. Or should we just try it and fail? You know what? Why not push ourselves? Okay. All right. <laughs> he sees us. There we go. Give him some wax there. Good. He's done with. And some arrows. Very good for uh, the bows we'll get. <laughs> Whoop. No rock. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> not very good with just this. Push hour isn't going very well. Okay. We don't need to kill him. The water just needs to kill him. Uh oh. He's got a fire. Yep. This is not ideal. Maybe we come back to this. <laughs> One sword is not enough for this. Yeah, I can't push him. But it did try. So, there we go. You can't say it didn't try now. No need to waste the durability. We need to start the death counter? No. <laughs> I'm not going to pick a fight that it's pretty much impossible for me to win. We will come back for you. Oh, they heard that, of course. Mm. Bombs don't really do knockback. Uh, moblins and Baca or sorry, Lizzles and Bacoblins receive a lot of uh, knockback, but not not these guys. No. Whoop. Where is my horse? Wait, he was down there, wasn't he? I don't actually know. I can't find you. Pigeon, where'd you go? I literally don't see him. I don't know where we left him. Wait, is he there? I'm literally like looking at shadows and like, is that him? <laughs> Huh? Where did he go? Huh. Wait. Actually, if he fall asleep... What? How are they hearing me? Okay. <laughs> This can do the trick, right? No. They just wake up. Okay. We're gonna not. If you don't get him one hit, they usually just wake up. <laughs> Is this how we're starting it now? Gonna be honest, not a fan of that. Okay, so he, he's on the bridge then. <laughs> Across the lake, I guess so. Isn't that a shame? I literally just can't see him. Unless I'm just, you know, I'm working with limited vision. Uh, do you guys see him? So falls. Oh, you're you're right there. <laughs> uh, pigeon, I, I see you. Get out of the camp. <laughs> uh, a pigeon. It's okay. You can make it. <laughs> get out of the enemy camp, please. <laughs> He's trying to get over.
No. <laughs> you. Ah. Come on. I have to rescue him now? I didn't sign up for this. Oh, they're shooting each other. Maybe this is how I get past. Okay, I'm a one-shot. This is very dangerous. What, what am I doing? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Take the side flank. Perfect. Or maybe not. This is a rescue mission. Okay. Let me go. Huh! Yeah, perfect. Oh, wait. Nope. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh... Just keep jumping. I don't know how this is working and I am alive. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh my God, you got out. Yeah. <laughs> of course, just as I come over. <laughs> that was stressy. It's okay, pigeon. Mm. <laughs> he made some new friends. Quite literally, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, hi, Pigeon. <laughs> Just waiting for me up there. Yeah, was that entertaining for you? Oh, he's running. <laughs> Pigeon, get back. What are you doing? Yeah, did he enjoy your time with your new friends? <laughs> no, those are bad friends. Get away. <laughs> yeah. Pigeon's gonna get us into such uh, mischief. <laughs> He's just hanging around the wrong crowd, I guess. You're right about that. Jump! Yeah! <laughs> that was a tall jump. Oh, never mind. Hmm. <laughs> Death counter not coming out, I know. How surprising. Whoosh. <laughs> okay. It's okay, we'll get his bond up. Maybe he'll listen to me more then. I'm just trying to keep you safe, Pigeon. Ah oh, yes, the storm cloud, the thunder plateau. That's neat. Pigeon is a feisty one. I'll, I'll give you that. Ah oh, yes, the hardest tower in the game. <laughs> oh, here it is. The most difficult tower to climb in the entire game. Just right away. So, uh, <laughs> uh, how the hell are we going to climb this tower? There's a lot of zap zap people around. There we go. Purple rupee, thank you. Hmm. Pigeon's turning into a rebel. <laughs> Before I know it, he'll be dying his main back. No, not Pigeon. He must keep his purity. Okay, no Lizzle. Woo! Okay. Oh, that was too close. What are we doing? Uh. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Doing this with like one stamina wheel. We're still prepared, aren't we? This is just not good. I hear whiz robe noises. Oh, he hears us. No. Ah! Okay. Get away, whiz robe. Oh! No. Okay. And two more. <laughs> Hmm. 
No, get away. No, not the bat. Uh, bat. No, you, no, not a electric keys out of all things. <laughs> it just had to spawn that. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> no keys. I didn't have a spear to defend myself. <laughs> Just like that. This is not fair. I thought it was meant to be fair. Okay. There we go. Just go up. Do not spit at me. No funny business. Just like that. Okay, good. Okay. What's it starting? I hear thunder. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Crap. It's giving it its, its all. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get away, shock stuff. Okay. No! Oh, it didn't kill us! What is this, Stork of Fate? Okay, that's gonna kill us. And, okay. We died, we drowned, okay. Crap. Ugh. No, why? Okay. This way, and this way. Oh, he sees us right off the bat now. Whoop. Okay, we're good. How are we doing this with like no stamina? There we go. Hear him somewhere. Okay. Just like that. Ah, again. You can't, I don't think you can save on the tower. It just takes you back to the land. Whoa. Okay. No zap orbs, please. Okay. Just a few good jumps. Uh, don't stroke me. Don't struck me down. Woo. Okay, I don't see him around. I think he lost sight. Oh, no, he's bouncing up. Okay, no. <laughs> ah, please, we're so close. Oh, come on. I see the finish line. Whoosh! We did it! Okay. <laughs> oh, finally got the climb. Yep. There we go, the whole region. Just like that, thunder is gone. Look at those nice platforms in the distance. I think if you don't jump, the wizard won't hear you. I guess it wasn't here that I was worried about, it was more supposed to see, so. Because there's two types of detection in the game and I just didn't want him to see me, so it's like, I'd rather go fast. And if I jump, I'm, you know, evading. <laughs> Whoosh. Yeah, of course, all these go on YouTube. So, for those of you asking. And yeah, welcome to everyone tuning in. Uh, rules are in the panels. Also in, uh, well, just using the run command, too. But yeah, I always update the panels. There we go. Uh, the first area of, well, the Grand Rito region.
Okay. Mm. Okay, save up. <laughs> Hello, research man, huh? We'll be helping you out eventually. I think this is what I want, though. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Look at these nice flying platforms. Let's... Oh! So much for stealth. Nope! Beat him down! Bye-bye! Okay. Uh, well, he's done for. Oh! Yeesh. I saw that. But Falcon Bow! You're gonna try the archery. So am I. Oh! So am I! You... I don't want quick shot. <laughs> We're gonna reload that. I want my attack up. I just realized it was quick shot. For these, we reload because they're the only modified versions of each weapon. There's one of each, uh, I'm pretty sure. So, we want the best of the best. Only attack up will do. It's just gonna require a bit of, yeah. There we go. Just like that. Oop. Durability we will not do. So let's go there. <laughs> we're we're save loading for this one. Cause this is gonna be like our prime bow. Like we're not really gonna have a better bow uh, than this besides the great eagle bow. Yeah. And the quick shot's nice. It just already has built in quick shot, so it just makes it a little bit faster, but I really don't need that extra speed. Yeah, it has quick shot built in, just makes it even faster, so. There we go. Oop, do not flank me. Okay, what is this? Durability. Ooh. We're re rolling. <laughs> okay. We need that attack up because it's going to be our only modified Falcon Bow we can get, at least for the long time here. Never settle for less. Correct. Every reroll, we have a risk of dying, though, which we're trying to avoid. Get off, Lizzle! There we go. Go over here, and we get quick shot. No. Rerolling. Don't settle for a low attack up. I'm, I'm sure we'll get a decent one. This is probably the only one we're going to reroll, because it's very important. Uh, yeah, it'll always be modified to master mode, so... So there's a risk at every time you re-roll anyways. There we go, flip them off. And what are we getting there? Oh, we have a thing pointed at us, but it's a quick shot, so. It's a one in three chance, by the way, to get an attack up. So the fact that we re-rolled this much is not very common, so. <laughs> that Lizzle's just having the worst day, <laughs> I know. We did this a lot in the Sheikah run, because Sheikah have, like, the least amount of weapons for all, like, compared to all the theme runs we did. Then again, they do have one of the best, Edge Duality. There we go. Oh! Not fully knocked off there. What is this? We are really getting shafted with the luck here. <laughs> mm. Two Relic Streams a week? I have no plan on doing more than just our Wednesday Relic streams. Uh, but it will do other streams besides just the Wednesday ones more often, though. Starting this holiday season. <laughs> okay. I don't like just constantly re-rolling, but we're really unlucky. Just the one in three chance here. We're messing it up. Okay. Bat you off. Good. Get the chest. <laughs> oh, he sees us. What is going on? <laughs> ah. Please. You're watching this with your cat. Very cozy. Aw, how nice. 
The max buff is 16. Okay, you got lucky the first try. That's awesome. There we go. Hello, Lizzle. Bat you off and get the chest. Come on, give me something good. Wow. How many was that? That's. I feel like that's at least six or seven. I'm getting the. I'm literally getting. It's. It's about an equal chance too, from what I'm aware of at least. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, this is the only one I'm going to save scum. Uh, unless... We'll save scum this, and in case we get long throw for any of the two uh, melee ones. But that's only one three of getting a long throw. There we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> get you off. We have a bow on us, but uh, attack up 14. That's really nice. Okay. Well, we got to use it to get out of here. <laughs> Whoop. Hello. Uh, hello, Mr. Lizard. Are you gonna draw at me? Nope. <laughs> Not before I. And this is a sapphire. Okay, we need the money uh, to buy the Rito set, so that's good. Where's his loot? Uh, might, as well, <laughs> might as well get his loot, too. Nice Lizzle stuff. Thank you. It also took you 207 rerolls to get max attack buff in the moonlight. That's nice. Okay, save up right here. <laughs> this bow is literally awesome. The falcon bow. I know exactly where we're taking it. <laughs> We're getting the spear. Mm. How do we get you back? There is a bit of an odd terrain uh, <laughs> area. What is the best way here? Pigeon can't come. Great. Uh, we went around, didn't we? Well, if we go... Yeah, right there. Okay. I see what we can do. Just like that. <laughs> hmm. Should we get that spear? Or... This boat is good durability. I think it's like 50, honestly. So I would say we're in a good boat. Now we're, we're going to hold off on the spear. That'll be a good combat challenge. Oh, hello, Chew Jelly. <laughs> oh. I'll take on the Chew Jelly. We need uh, this for uh, upgrading the Rito gear. Assuming we change the elemental because we need fire. Hmm. Do I have a cat? Uh... What's it called, judging by the cat name out? Yes, uh, the cat there is Jet. That's my black cat. But I have a few others, so. Oop. Here we go, the whole bank of choo choos right here. We'll just bomb them down. Mm. My favorite strategy. There we go. It's just gonna be a durability sponge otherwise. Hello, Chew Jellies. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hurt my horse. There we go. Got to get all these jellies and hey, Pigeon. <laughs> he wanted it in on it too. Mm. Whoosh. All right, Pigeon. <laughs> Let's go to the stable now. In the shrine, uh, we're going to get another... Uh, read a weapon too, so. Okay. Let's 
pretty nice. Yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, so right now we just have the nice bow and sword. Uh, we'll rack up a lot more though. We'll get everything soon. We gotta have all the variety, all the options of need to read a weapons. Pitch, pitch, pitch. I forgot what the stats were. It's a three strength. Uh, they're pretty low in uh, the areas around the plateau because there's four different types of horse groups I can spawn. Uh, it's just determines what sort of colors you get and also, well, not really colors, but just the stats. The only thing color matters for is uh, the spotted and I think the light browns and pinks are the weak ones. Well, everything else is the stronger ones, so. Yeah. <laughs> Those are stable. I see the head right there. Mm -hmm. there you go. Good thing we had some arrows. <laughs> oh, hello, birds. <laughs> ah, there's metal flying around. We'll go there soon. The bird didn't die, I don't think. He just gently tapped it. <laughs> okay, the stable. But first, the shrine. Whoop! Ah. <laughs> I love when you actually cling onto the wall, but it's hard because you don't plunge forward too much. Ah. The Loya Shrine. Mm-hmm. The Rita will never forgive me. It's okay. They probably hunt smaller prey of their own kind. <laughs> yes, this this stream was actually during uh the 1700s. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, that was during the Roman Empire. That's when we're streaming this right now. So, for all those confused about the date of the stream. Okay. <laughs> There's a bouncing ball. Uh... Which we do have the bow for. Yeah. Get it out. Oh. So what should I be doing? Hmm. Does it need two arrows? What is the solution here? How do, how do we solve this? Okay. <laughs> There's a readout sells bird meat. I know. <laughs> it's funny. <gasps> I think you can just barely make it up. No? Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay. Just like that. We'll go. <sighs> I just did stasis it though. Do we need more? Because I only have two arrows, so if that doesn't work, then we're kind of screwed here. So it's like, I don't want to have to do that. Will it work with two arrows? It did not work with one arrow. Sis the ball and hit it hard. You can reach it with the paraglider? Okay. I think we can do this. That's not, okay. I just canceled out. <laughs> Yeah, I think more arrows or a bomb arrow would work, but we don't have that, so... Are we just... Stasis and two arrows? Okay. One more. Ah, wait, no, one more. <laughs> I got this. No, I, I got it, I got it. Just grab the ledge, you're so close. Like, you are so incredibly close. What if I wind bomb over? Oh yeah, we have the bow now. Hmm. Don't want to waste all my arrows on that. We need probably L2. Uh. Just like that, and boom. Wind bomb. That was awful. Okay. <laughs>
I think we need to activate our uh Okay. Rito flight mode activated. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh yeah. We're not gonna die on this fall. Ideally. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. We would have died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need the because it's like I only have two arrows and I need another arrow to put in there. Do you see our problem here? Just like that and woo! Okay. <laughs> Bird powers. Yes. We use flight mode to get over just to get a topaz. That's nice. <laughs> Now we can do this with these. Oh, thank you. Hit it out. Just like that. Woo! Nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> rip to the flight. Okay. Now, look what we got right there. Hmm. We only have two more arrows to do this. So let's make a count. One arrow on you. And did that work? Oh, look at that. <laughs> it cut both of them. Perfect. <laughs> And that was for a falcon bow, another one. That will be good. <laughs> Let's put away our OP one. Yeah, 20 damage one. We'll save the 34 one for uh, later. Okay, and our last arrow we'll use for... <gasps> Boop, perfect. <laughs> okay, let's exit this. Yay! Can they get the arrow back? I didn't see the arrow. Crap. I really didn't. That's okay. Arrows won't be a problem to get. It's just those initial ones, because, like, we didn't have many. So, it's fine. <laughs> mm. But good thing, we, yeah, we went to that camp to get those arrows. But that's okay. It was more stylish, too. Get the two in a row. Let's go. Okay. Got a scout over there. All right, we can do some fun stuff here though. Steal our wood. Hmm. Let's go steal these spicy peppers, steal more wood, and this guy, great fairy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know about you. I'll help you out. <laughs> 500 rupees, we'll steal that too. <laughs> yep. Just free money right there. <laughs> of course, we'll give it to the great fairy later though. Poopy poop poop. Why, why have I never seen this person before? What are you doing? <laughs> I'll make you a bed. Horsey, horsey, rustier head. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was probably Ka one of Cass's songs. Which we will help out later. Okay. Cass is now singing about horse dung. Nice. <laughs> Great jam, isn't it? Mm. There's a torch in the barrel. Nice. Okay. Anything of importance? Um. 
Beetle sells arrows for more expensive, but I do need a couple. Uh, <laughs> let's nab some. Ah, rhino beetles. Oh, I do have a, a beetle. Would you like it? Yes, I would like my meat and rice bowl. A favorite dish of the Rito. Look what I've got. Hmm, can sell 50 rupees. Neat. Sell our topaz. Sell our sapphire. Just for starters. Oh. Yeah, just buy a quick bundle of arrows just to help us out a bit. Wait. He didn't have anything. No, we need uh, the fire ones later on, but not now. Okay. Let's go over there. I always used to decline them, but I'm just like, wait a second. I'm not actually going to use the beetles most of the time, so I'm just give it to him. <laughs> get something fun. Because if you sell the dish, you can get way more than just with the beetle. Take horse. All right, pigeon. <laughs> oh, it's a one strength. Three speed, three stamina. I didn't pay attention earlier. Not gonna lie. All right. So, our next goal will be the tower. So. All right. So, well, we got our next goal right in front of us. The tower right there, meadow, and just everything around. I love the scenic sunset. <laughs> it's very scenic out right now. All right, tower and everything around it. We're coming for you. And then bird boss. Hmm. Well, guardians. Ah, I can't match your flight powers right now, sadly. It's okay. <laughs> it is outrun maneuver time. Whoosh. Okay. So there should be an enemy coming up where we can get a bow. Another bow. A swallow bow this time, though. So. How is the Switch OLED? It's really nice. Uh, I'm on my normal Switch right now. only use that for portable stuff, but... Uh, I've been playing some games on it, like some Hollow Knight, and uh, played some Metroid Dread when that came out. It's really fun. Yeah. So. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like we got a camp here first. That's a lot of silvers. Okay. Uh. Wait a second. Let's scalp this out. Hmm. I spy. What am I spying here? Depends what time it is. It's 9.10, so... How soon are these guys falling asleep? Because I know one of them has something important for me. I think it's 10, so that's like less than a minute. I'll give a scouting leeway. So we can get in here. <laughs> Look at this nice conversation we're having. They're having their before bed squabble right now. Come on, go to sleep. How? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> There's a chest there. That could be helpful. Oh, they're going nappy. Good night, guys. It goes for you, Moblin. Do they fall asleep later? Or not at all? I don't, it's not magnetic. Oh, we just saved. Okay. So who is the enemy here? 
I know one of these guys have a swallow bow. Who has it? I don't know who has it. I just know they're here. We look for the shines. Okay, so there's a weapon shine in between those two silvers. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just going to be stealing the chest here. <laughs> no noise needed. Crap. <laughs> uh, get away. I think it's somewhere over here, isn't it? <laughs> they don't see me yet. Okay. Just buy some time. There we go. Swallow boat. We got it. Okay. Right from underneath his arms. Quick. Out. <laughs> it was just for that. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Your rocks mean nothing. Yeah, you want to taste what I just stole? Take that. Haha. <laughs> -ha. They are powerless now. The Rito treasure is back in our hands. Okay, horse, you have to get down from the ledge, because I can't... Oh! Uh, ooh, horror puzzle. Yay. It's tall on each side. Okay. Uh-oh. We got it, right? Of course. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We did it. Quick. <laughs> yeah, get it. We'll get some more slots later. Uh, specifically, yeah, maybe bows or weapons. Probably. Oh, definitely bows. Never mind. <laughs> You'll definitely have to get more bow slots because we only have five. Yeah. First his bow got nabbed, then he got bonked. <laughs> Quite literally. Mm. <laughs> How's the Boko gonna survive without a bow? Uh, he'll make another one at the next Blood Moon. Or Ganon will make it for him, so. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Bow inventory for sure. Ooh. Hello. You are guarding a hearty radish, my friend. I I will I will gladly take one. You know what? For you, Bubblekin, you get pigeon slapped. Okay, good. Go. <laughs> ah. Ooh, big hearty radish. That's what I wanted, and I don't want anything to do with you, though. Okay. <laughs> good. Boko need radish. <laughs> Not anymore. Boko don't have radish. Well, it is stock up time, so <laughs> get him. I desperately need your arrows, but you guys are in my way. Did we get him? No, we didn't. Okay, uh, woo! No, no, not pigeon. What are you doing? That's cruel. Animal cruelty. Only vocal cruelty. Loud. Okay, whoop, got it. Woo. Pigeon. We're gonna have to be quick about this, you see? Okay. There we go, go, yes. Yeah, right on, get away. Make off with the arrows. We are basically a bird thief before we're actually the bird. Oh, hi, Pebbit. Oh, you're cute. You guys are so happy. Oh, come back here. I'll carry you. Whoa. Amber? Nice. <laughs> Cricket. <laughs> Whoosh. I do support uh, Boko Harm. It is my favorite. Oh, that's, that rock isn't. Oh, he's getting knocked by everything. That is a lot of moblins. Uh, 
Sorry, Pigeon. Just just for now, we're gonna have to uh, be on your own for a second. I'm sorry. Okay, I think we're safe at least. Bomb rocks. I do want that. <laughs> okay. You just you get up there. That's a lot of uh, good stuff, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need the money to buy our Rito gear. All right. Pigeon, can you make it now? I just let the path open for you. Yeah, let's go. Mm, no. <laughs> it's not horse friendly. All right. You're just making it difficult, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> Get out of the way. Pigeon, you... Ah, uh, they keep blocking his path. Let's do this one without you, sadly. Whoop. PETA is coming for me. If PETA supported monsters instead of animals. Okay. There's some meaty swings down there, Mr. Moblin. At least I'm safe up here. All right. All right. <laughs> Tamantha Tower. Pillar, though. Time to defeat the Pillar Man. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright. Gotta climb up this thing. And we need that Pillar. <laughs> Gotta defeat the Pillar Man. Goodbye. And <laughs> go bonk down. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Was that a JoJo reference? No. No, I didn't just start watching it the other week. And it is actually legendary. <laughs> I don't really watch anime. Uh, I started, I watched a little anime like two years back. I was like, interesting. Uh, but then I started watching Attack on Titan and absolutely loved it. And I kind of want something else that's fun but different. And I started watching JoJo and yeah, I, I, I love it. <laughs> I'm only on part two right now, but it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yep. Definitely no JoJo reference here. <laughs> what am I talking about? Whoosh. Okay. <laughs> There's the tower. On top of the Tabantha Tower. And just like that. <laughs> it's going to be our big uh, Rito hunting region, along with Hebra, too. Phone's dying soon, you don't know how long you're going to be staying. That's okay. Nice having you here. Thank you for helping out, Platinum. <laughs> I summoned the weebs. Oh, no. <laughs> that adds to 3,000. There we go. Okay. Well, there's going to be a few good goodies uh, to pick up. Mainly in the enemy department, there's uh, there's two packs of enemies that have both a feathered spear and a feathered uh, edge. So, we'll be taking that stuff for sure. Um. <laughs> okay. Pigeon. All right. <laughs> Look, when the platforms are down. But that is where we need to be, so let's go do that. Aha. Hello, Bacoblin. What is this? He needs death sentence time. That is a normal spin-off. Yeah. So long. That was a harsh fall. Why does the thing have to be down? Wait a second. Please tell me this is gonna work. Actually, yes? 
Wait. Okay. Here goes nothing. Huh! That was nothing. Uh. Mm, what do we do? Just like that. Oh boy. <laughs> Roll up the save. Uh. <laughs> I don't have a fair pillarman yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, here, one of the things is down. Let's go in with the... Uh, oh, never mind stealth. Maybe just a bow bop. Oh, wait. We definitely aim for the head. Okay, good. <laughs> We're too close. There we go. That's slightly drifting away. Well, this has got to work, please. Okay, actually. Yeah, oh no! Oh, come on! We were so close. Okay, plan B. Just follow it. All the way down, I don't care. We got to get it. Okay, it's in the water. <laughs> Along with fire arrows, okay, worth it for that. Come on. Please make it. Okay, all the way down there. Uh. Just like that. Look at that uh, sun reflection, though. Okay. Yeah. We are so close. Okay, let's uh, fish it out here. And boom. Just like, not that. Okay. <laughs> We've done worse. Okay, chest time. And look at that. Durability up swallow bow. Okay, N not the worst, but it's, it's something. I always prefer my attack up, but that works. Hmm. Okay. So I feel like from here, uh, hmm. I noticed quite a few things. There, there's a chest spear we can get here, but I'm not going to worry about it because, uh, I don't want too much stuff because I don't want to fill up yet. <laughs> so let's, let's warp here. Then we can take I think we can take the horse down. Uh, just we just have to go back in the path, so it works. Uh, it wasn't quick shot. I do like quick shot though. That's a thing. This will be like my utility bow. In fact, I'll probably rather have quick shot because it just at least functions differently. Uh, durability only gives like I don't know the exact amount. Uh, this bow has thirty durability. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this has thirty. Falcon has fifty, and Great Eagle has sixty. Um, but it adds roughly ten. I would say. <laughs> when are we getting a PS5? Whenever they restock. I've been trying so hard, huh? I don't know. The, the stock's really bad. <laughs> but also, hey, Jess. Yeah, for basic bow needs, we'll just use uh, the swallows, though. It's more practical when we don't need damage. And we just need piercing power. All right. Come on. Yeah, pigeon, get him all the moblin camp this time. Okay. He's free. Maybe we'll go to the fairy fountain now once we get our armor so we can upgrade it. Yeah. Okay, hello guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just coming back after a stealing run. <laughs> Imagine I got the great eagle bow. It just has long throw. Yep. Seems legit. Okay, that time was me. 
Force had nothing to do with my idiocracy. Hello. <laughs> that time was the horse. He definitely starts steering the wrong way. Hey, it's the wolf pack. Meet me. Yeah. <laughs> Roadkill. I'll still keep trying with uh, the PS5 search about that though, because there is like restock, but you have to like be in the queues where it's kind of like random. Well, I've been in a few, it just was not one of the lucky ones, so. We'll see. But there's like a few games I really want to play. I decided to try out the God of War game uh, and the Uncharted's, so mainly. And then eventually I'll get Horizon 2. <laughs> mm. Okay, we're on the right path now. I want to take my horse because it's still a bit of a truck. All right, so it's going to be a good amount of the melee weapons on this path. So we want to nab them all, ideally. Oh, hello, Talison. <laughs> Blends in so well there. Yeah, just up here. Aha, Lizzles. You are, I think. No, not them. Aha. We got a Talus in the background, but it's these Lizzles that I'm after. Aha, a spear, feathered. <laughs> it's a spear of feathers. Let's get him down. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be quite the beat down to get him. Ooh. Don't regen. Come on. He's regening all the back. Ah, we need a better way. Okay. Our supreme strategy. Hit him with the good bow. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's a mistake. <laughs> We're reloading that. <laughs> Go to the flight range first, as there will be a falcon boat. Once you talk to Tebo's wife, it'll be a swallow boat. Really? Hmm. I don't think it was. I know there is a falcon boat in the chest there. Does it really change like that? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Stealth was unaffected there. We got him one at a time. Just like that. <laughs> Bat him around. Come on. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Oh, just like that. <laughs> Clap him. Perfect. <laughs> oh, the only problem. The durability transfer. That was strictly eye for an eye. We need a better way to do this. Mm -mm. Let's load the autosave again. Because ideally we need shock stuff. If we don't have shock stuff, we're just going to be swapping weapons on tough enemies. Yeah, these beginning parts we have to plan tactfully because our weapons are limited. They really are. We got it. <laughs> Quite honestly, a few tactics we can use, but... Okay. <laughs> Waking all these guys. Ah. He's got a feathered spear. And uh, you got a feathered edge. I need both. Okay. 
Ooh. Okay. How shall we do this now? So week one, <laughs> we, we need a strategy. Is there anything shock nearby? There is not. I don't have shock jelly. I have nothing with disarming properties, not do I? Whoop. Okay. Hello, Talus. He's trying over there. <laughs> Ugh. None of that. Meeting Rice Bowl. Is that the attack up? It is, but, uh, hmm. It's only a 20%. I need something that's... I don't need raw damage output. I just need tactful killing. How do you see me? <laughs> Ugh, you're kidding me. How do we sneak up on these guys? I... Okay, he doesn't see me now, does he? He does not. Okay. How? Yeah. One way we can do this really well. Got these are 34 Falcon Bow. And thank you, Beetle, for this uh, little... Okay. Don't unpause it when you're getting sped at. Uh, <laughs> noted. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, as I was saying. So, arrow. Meets meat and rice. And our... 34. Okay. Yep, that's not gonna work. <laughs> but, yeah, come over here. You know what? I just got you by yourself. This is our plan B here. There we go. Look at that. And he drops his weapon, which we cannot get because he messed up. There we go. <laughs> he always drops his weapon at low health. Perfect. That's one. Just like that. Okay. Take it all. You are the other threat. Two and... Boop. All done. Just spin it all the way. Ah, he's so close to dropping it. Drop it, my friend. There we go. Whoop, not off the cliff. Okay, good. He can go off the cliff, though, for all I care. Bye-bye. That is brutal and harsh. Uh, did he even die? I don't know. He's into the abyss. <laughs> but we got our feathered spear. Look at that. That is a cool-looking one. It's got the feathers at the edge. Uh, <laughs> yes. This is going to look so nice with the reader armor. Yeah, screw you, non-Rito weapon wielding enemy. We're Pigeonette. Oh, there's Pigeon. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. We don't have any more arrows though. There's two more up ahead. <laughs> I'm just trying to get prepared here. They are past the bridge. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just focusing. I'm planning on what I'm going to do. 
already. Your Rito village right there. We're coming for you in just a second. But, uh, I think there's one more priority first. First, there's some more uh, friends to take down, it looks like. Oh, nope, he's jumping around. You know, yeah. What, what, what was he doing there? He was freaking. Yeah, come into my spear. It's not fun, that's for sure. Whoop! Hey, you don't do that. Whoop! Look what I said. You're not being respectful. Ah. Uh. Save right here. There we go. Hey, remember this? Get pigeon bopped. Yeah. This is such a small operating area. Charge! No! Don't charge me. I swear, this is the awful strategy. They keep hiding back. Oh, stop it. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Come on. That's stressy. I'm trying to find ways to deplete these guys. Oh, pff. we just spawned in. Okay, perfect. All right. Ready to get pigeon bopped? Oh, no, wait, what? Okay, he sees me. Hmm. If only we had shock stuff, but this will do the trick for now. We're just gonna reload. This is so hard with these weapons. We don't have any sort of attack up. We need like good stuff, like good stuff to complement this. Because these are really weak weapons. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Hi. Well, you're in for a treat. Fire. Fire's fun. Oh, no, don't do that. Yeah, give me my sword. <laughs> yeah, another one. Ah, uh, no, what are you doing? These guys are jerks. Ah. Okay. I'm taking your spear. For everything you have done against my horse. You deserve the worst. No, don't get spit at. I can't afford a spit session. Okay. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Flurry that all the way. Just like that. Just spin. Come on, we're so close. Come on, there we go. That was badly damaged. No, he, his friend just picked it up. What? There we go, no, that is my spear. <laughs> I deserve that. You deserve death. But our weapons are too fragile to give you death right now, so. Uh. Temporary mercy. Oh, no, you're too fast. And you are too, yeah, roadkill. Okay, well, on the bright side, uh, we got quite a few weapons. It only costed us per durability of one, just for that. So, I'll say it's pretty good. And look at where we are now. It's time to really start this and uh, match the Rito aesthetic. Will we do a Hollow Knight stream sometime? Maybe. I'm still playing through. I'm almost, almost beat it. So maybe that for a second playthrough could be pretty fun. <laughs> he got mad at his friend for stealing the weapon. I know. Okay. Rito stable. Here we are. <laughs> Pigeon can be reunited with this kind and uh, I will be one of the kind soon. <laughs> Isn't it nice to have a carrier pigeon? Okay. Um... Nothing here that they need, I don't think. Okay. Mm. Let's go on in. 
Ah, oh, this place looks so cool. It's sunset. Up here. I'll do cast quest probably after this first divine beast because I need to stock up a bit first. Yeah. We get the little pond over here. With fishy. Yeah, hearty salmon. <laughs> That's good. Got to get the Rito signature hearty salmon. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, welcome to everyone tuning in. Uh, I mean, Rito Village. But, uh, yeah, basically there's going to be a first Divine Beast and everything. We're just stocking up a bit. And the run rules are in the description. Okay. <laughs> Metal screeching for us. Oh, yeah. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. So there is a swallow bow. I forgot exactly where it is, but it's in Rio Village. But probably gonna hold off because I'm maxed out on bow slots almost. Uh, <laughs> we'll probably take care of that after the Divine Beast. A yeah, pigeon can't get in. It's sad. Do I keep lists open of what I need to upgrade armor? Do I just know? Uh, since I only do it like one at a time, it's I pretty much know. I just know uh, fire tree jellies and well, that's the main priority for like the beginning stuff. But I do need the warm darners or whatever they're called uh, for the second tier. We're probably only gonna get tier one to start out with just right away. Okay, Rito Village. Hello. <laughs> I will look like you soon. <laughs> I mean. We do match in this prospect. I stole it back from the Bacalans that probably killed uh, his guard friend. That's that's dark. Okay, let's go. Okay. Pots! These are cool looking ones. They have wings. Fly, pot. <laughs> oh, freaked him out. <laughs> oh, arrow, cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Break, break. Hi. Just breaking in. Uh, some arrows I will take, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Sunshrooms, I have a different type of uh, coal resistance that I'll be getting today. And that shall be in this shop. Look at that. Arito swag. Uh, <laughs> ah. Even just looking at it right now, it matches so well with the weapons. Can't wait to get some. Uh, it is pretty expensive, though. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, we can start with these two pieces, actually. That'll be kind of nice. <laughs> Snow cool tunic? Yes. Cold resistance. Lined with molted Rito feathers. Okay. So we're really a part of them. <laughs> and the trousers, too. Okay. Let's put both these on. Trousers. Tunic, look at that. That's really cool. Don't have the headpiece, but even as is, it fits really nicely. Ah, love the feather aesthetic and this bow is just looking really good with that. Oh, don't mean to alarm. Okay. <laughs> Let's not use our best bow for that. It has a lot of durability, but yeah. We'll have to save a bit for uh, this one. It's a thousand, but it's okay. Okay. Hello to you. Good day, fellow Rito. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for... Mm, mm, that's pot lid. We don't need that. What's something I can take that's nice? I would like to cook some stuff, though. Uh, this is big hearty radish. With the Boko head. Plus five, that'll be uh, very handy. Throw in some uh, loose stuff. Stamina. For the hells of it. There we go. Mm. Baby speed. 
baby speed. Yes. Are there Rito shields? Yes, they're all in Hebrew though. And there's only four of them. Don't respond. <laughs> Just up that way. Um, should we hold off on the weapon? Yeah. There is a weapon in there, but we will uh, wait on it for now. <laughs> Aha. Bundle of arrows. Thank you. That's a free one. Okay, so... I think ideally we should probably just rush the Divine Beast first and then kind of go from there because at least we'll have Revali Scale to use. And that could be good for navigating Hebrew and getting our shields and such. <laughs> hmm. Where is the Swallow Bow? I just know it's somewhere in the village and one of the huts, but exact location? I'm not too sure. <laughs> Stomp. <laughs> yeah, Divine Beast's stream, and probably a bit more. We've been live for two and a half hours, so it's been a bit. But look at that. We have a nice bit of stuff. Okay. Hello, Grandpa Owl. Visitor. Yes. Zelda series loves their owls. <laughs> They're everywhere. I'll listen. Mm. Okay. <laughs> hey, Linkmaster. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, we just got a... Uh, well, we're doing the Rito quests. So. Which are you sure that the Falcon Bow spawns before? I don't think that's the case. Before you talk to them? Save. Flight range first? Okay. So yeah, let's not talk to him then. Okay. Well, I think it's time for the flight range. And luckily as a bird, we should have no problems with this. Flap to it. Yeah. Okay, that was a pretty good launch. <laughs> the Rito aesthetic works wonders, apparently. And there's snow on the shrine. Okay. Let's get the shrine. Shawarbo. Okay, hello, flight range. All the targets. So deep. Uh that's a swallow bow. Yeah, it's not it's not a falcon. <laughs> that's why I thought. I don't think yeah, I don't think it was supposed to be. Okay. Well, let's grab it in a second. Yeah. It is Falcon. I, I didn't think that was the case, but might as well. <laughs> Just test it out. So at least we know now. Stamina will be helpful this run. Let me come back. I didn't even grab it yet. Because it was like, no. Yeah. Whoosh. Okay. Well, we'll have all, all good bow stuff. <laughs> Oh, Satori's glowing. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh. okay. Now let's do that part of the quest. So maybe let's not grab the bow right now, wherever it is. I think it's lower, so. Because we, we only have one more bow slot. We didn't talk to Hesti yet. Where'd he go? Um... I'll let the Revali one play out, but I do have to use the restroom, so yeah, let's let's have another share stream. Uh this while the cutscene plays out. I think that'll be good. Okay. Well, I will be right back. So yeah, let's watch the Revali cutscene. 
Um, just a little break, just like a minute until yeah. Piggy will watch. Point. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among Naruto. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all Naruto. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong. Maybe we should just settle this one on one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. Okay, I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine Volley's beast still on your own. Yabin. Back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there we go. Yeah, so today we'll do the Divine Beast at least. Uh, and then maybe do like a little bit more just for stuff. Because I got stuff to do. There we go. <laughs> so I think, yeah. Okay. I'm just thinking of a, a battle strategy here. There's a lot we can do. We can go straight to the flight range. We can upgrade this more. Money-wise, we don't have a lot right now. Hmm. Yeah, money-wise, we, we're pretty close to getting uh, the final Rito piece. But it's we're just a little short. I know once we sell all of our gems and stuff, we're a couple hundred short, so. Oh, Talos could help too. Yeah, you're right. Uh hmm. Where's the money? <laughs> I need the money. Please. Yeah. Okay, hello, in. Yeah, Rito Village is really nice at night. I love it. Okay. Well, I say... Maybe let's just do flight range. Because we'll get a lot of stuff from, uh, yeah. So I'll just go there. You know, it might be fun just to prioritize the Divine Beast, then kind of go from there. Because, like, okay, help the Rito's out, then they'll help me out. Boom. You have to, you have to go, so you give the pig God's blessing. Thank you. That, that'll be very helpful for this. <laughs> Have a good stream. Well, thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, this, is, this has been nice. I'm happy we've been, uh... Ooh, just doing pretty good with us. Okay, hello, Teba. Mm, well, <laughs> I love Teba's voice. Just deep. He's got the falcon bow. Yeah. I don't know you, and I'm actually pretty busy here. 
You should probably go. Yeah, he's got his falcon bow. He's cool. The ODM straps. Damn. I like his feather plates on his shoulders. Okay. Hey, Teva. Hmm. There's a nice bow here. And ten arrows. It's a swallow bow. That's nice. Okay. More of those, the merrier. So. We can do your basic bird archery, though. I'm Link. I got it. Teba, Teba. I always, always say Teba, but I think Teba sounds cooler. So. Okay. <laughs> Five target in three minutes. Okay. The hardest Rito challenge. Okay. Well, this shouldn't be a problem. Because <laughs> this bow has some really nice range to it. So, and fast draw speed. Just like all Rito bows do. Just quick pops and another. <laughs> Where is the one more? Oh, let's get it from the back. There we go. <laughs> Good. Awesome. It was as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely didn't cheese it. Uh, what do you mean? Okay. So you can give its cannons all you got? Okay. Inside the treasure chest is the bow. Uh. Ah. He left us a treasure, though. And it's a falcon bow. But, yeah, we're we're too full. We'll have to come back and get that. Uh, definitely taking a stop to Hestu after this. We're going to need bow slots galore. But bomb arrows, thank you. I'm ready. Save Rito Village. I'm not dropping any bows. Everything is valuable. I'll just pick it up later. Okay. Well, metal time. <laughs> yeah. This will be nice. We'll ham through it like we always do. Okay. Time to help out the Ritos. Uh, then they'll help us out more. Uh, get upgraded, I think. Yeah, we can drop bombs, but I'm going to do the arrow method. Like a proper Rito. Cannons. Alright. <laughs> We're really flying around now. We got our wings. Kind of. Uh, let's go. It's up to you. Whoosh. It's targeting us. Okay. There we go. Got our stuff ready. This will be fun. <laughs> and double bop time. <laughs> Look at that quick draw. Nice. That's it. This music is awesome. Got those Star Wars vibes. Yeah, I'm saving over volleyball for Ganon, so that's for sure. We're in hot. All right, so <laughs> this shall be easy. Ah, oh, we're too high. Okay. Hop around it. Two quick shots. There we go. <laughs> the if we had a quick shot on top of that, that would be really fun. Watch out. Okay. Last one here. Give it the double bop business. And boom. Wait. One more. I can't count. There's one more. Oh, you can see the Satori Mountain Glow in the background. Oh, it's that piercing. It's so nice. It's targeting him now. No! Don't get shot, Teva! Ah! Just barely. He got his wings snitched. <laughs> and... Double bop, and good! Okay. <laughs> Meadow time. Let's avenge Doritos.
Yeah. Well done, Link. Okay. Well, this is that soon. Well, now, I've seen Let's go find Revali. <laughs> Both voiced by the same uh, person, by the way. <laughs> if so. Same with Deku Tree. Really good voice actor. There we go. The terminal. That guidance stone has the information. All right, then. This properly themed divine beast can easily take it down. Whoop. Okay, good. <laughs> we'll hop around, get our good stuff. Just like that. Not a problem. <laughs> Just a stamina problem. We'll get that up, too. Ancient core. Yes, anything's good. And... All these chests could be nice. Bomb arrows? Okay. <laughs> Do we need more? No, but I'll take them. Aha. Right to the eye. <laughs> I have so many bows for this. Okay. Ancient shaft. Yeah, well, let's just lose ancient stuff. Be nice. Mm. Yeah, they're all pretty easy. Uh, this divine beast, yeah. This zooms by. Okay, up there. The guardian we shall evade. <laughs> He's got a spear. All right. So, do we do the typical route? Because I don't know a faster route, and I like doing the fast route. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this will be nice. We'll do this. Yeah, we'll take that left flank again. I feel like, yes, some of them may do slightly different routes, but uh, it's always Ruta and this. Because Ruta is just linear, but this is like. Th there is the easy route, or the quick route, rather. Favorite champion power? Revali Scale. So I'm happy we're going to be getting it soon. The terminal, you'll need to act. Think you All right, so oh, no, ow, painful. <laughs> you almost got us. Okay, none of that, please. Yeah, none of that. Okay, <laughs> stay safe. That's good. Oh, wow. Okay, he's sniping me. Whoop. That's good. You can't get me through that. We're fine. Haha. <laughs> oh, oh, he can. Oh, what? I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> uh, uh, guardians are jerks. Can you not? Okay. <laughs> he almost did. Whoop. We're good. High band the chest. <laughs> okay. Let's get that. We are going here very early. We'll stock up after the beast, but I'm just trying to help out the Rito first. <laughs> just like that. Very familiar about for us. Oh. We die in the malice. I just must have had my hand in it or something. <laughs> no. <gasps> ah. Five deaths ain't too hot. When was the last time I died in a divine beast, in all honesty? I don't remember.
didn't even save that. Are you kidding me? You are honestly kidding me. <laughs> and yeah, this is master mode. It always is for these. I like my master mode. Okay. Let's go the right way. That's good. Okay, just like that. We'll swoop on in. That should work. Just like that. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> no. Get out of my way. <laughs> and perfect almost. <laughs> there we go. Terminal 1. There are four. All right. And there's a nifty chest here. That I can just barely get to. Nice. <laughs> Had to run up the wall. Nope. <laughs> uh-uh. There we go. Open that up for us. I actually died in a divine beast, so that's sad. <laughs> just our typical route. We're doing good, though. Yeah, Knight's Claymore, disgusting. Absolutely gross. We're not using that. Okay, <laughs> swing around. Around town, good. <laughs> They're all so close to each other. Just within a minute's grasp of each other. I can do a quick spin with the spear, just <laughs> like all around. That'll be too broken. Okay. Just like that. Oh, we can go around that way. I don't think I've seen this before. <laughs> oh, just another way across. How interesting. Okay. Get the good shot on the gondola. Oh, yeah, that... <laughs> okay. Go like that. Hop on. Get him in the eye. Perfect. And we wait for our ride to bring us down. <laughs> I love how it's like a bird cage and a bird divine beast. And that's basically real village too. Whoosh. Going down. Whoa. Okay, nice. <laughs> and terminal four. Just. Okay. That leaves us with the, the final one here. We got a little spawner right there, don't we? Take care of you and badly damaged. Yuck. Okay. <laughs> Beat him down. Oh, a chest. Cool. What's in our chest here? Ice arrows. That's that's very nice. Okay. A good assist tool to get more damage out of our base weapons that are rather weak. Okay. Let's flip this up. Okay. Just gotta wait for it. And I'll just keep going. There we go. Okay, nice. That is our final terminal here. Get it. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, puke the chest, literally. The Malice dispersal. It was just holding it, so. Like a spider web. Oh. Alright, flap to it. <laughs> mm. There was like another chest or two around here. Was there one on top of there? I think some of them were rupees, so I don't remember. 
I forget, honestly. I really do. But, since we're here, might as well. Okay. There's another chest. We'll just nab these. Need that loot to get that final piece of Rito gear. That's not going to help me, is it? <laughs> oh, it's full. Okay, good. We avoided that bullet. Uh. All right. All right. We're all at the top. Let's even it out. Before I even up the score with uh, the Blake Ganon. All right. Terminal. Scan that. Look who it is. Hmm. Ready to avenge Ravali. Along with the stream B, probably at least like another. I, I'm gonna do a little stuff after this boss fight, so. <gasps> All right. He's appearing. Oh, yeah. Wind Blight. <laughs> Old Thar Arsenal of Bows. Uh, he shouldn't be too much of a match. Good luck. That thing is one of Ganon's own. It okay. <laughs> dirty. You defeated me 100 years ago. This will be good. We just got to hold the same cocky confidence of uh, Rivali. We can do it, right? Woo! Just like that. And yeah, that's all good stuff. Let me give him a couple falcon bops. Just like that. Okay, perfect. Charge this. Yeah, take the spear. Not bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Way to copy me. Okay. Oh! That was bad. <laughs> that one was bad. Maybe a little too much like Rivali there. Because, you know, dying. Uh, yeah. Let's go back. We can do it. Okay, back in the fight. It's okay, guys. I was just winging it last time. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Just like that. No, don't keep moving. I see what you're doing. I don't like it. Okay. More. Wow. It's good damage, but, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be the weakest blade. They're gonna scale after this. Ah. These are quite the, the fragile weapons here. We just need to immediately get to a wing gust. Woo! No more. No regen. Oh, look at that uh, lack of arrows we got. That was my chance. Okay. Activate second phase. One, two hits. Where is he? I just hear him. He always does. He keeps flapping around and just regenning. He knows what he's doing. Okay, good. Just barely. And one more. There we go. Okay, halfway. We got this. Yeah, this is even the falcon bow. This is the better of the two bows. Watch my blind spot? Okay. Uh-oh. What's he showing that? Oh, yeah, everything. Oh, my God. Okay. Bomb time. Now, we only have some, uh, but more than enough for this. <laughs> the bombs will have to carry it. Ah. There we go. Keep exploding them. Badly damage. That's okay. No! Wait, no! Uh, sorry, Feathered Spear. That's an awful fate. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No! Okay, good. We got him. Come on, just a couple more. Ah. 
Of course. Okay. Well, we'll finish him off with normal arrows. Come on. Just a couple. And final shot. Yes. We did it. Okay. <laughs> Flight mode came in very clutch for us. Ah. Wow. That was the easiest in the bunch. It's only going to get way harder from there. And bows won't prove as effective during some of the other fights. That was a good first triumph for me, but we're going to need to really power ourselves up and get a lot more things if we want the rest to go well. Okay. We avoid the snipe, but at least we get the best ability, so... There we go. <laughs> Ugh. What beast is next? We won't do it today, but it will be Naboris. Because, uh, when they scale, well, the opponents gain 400, or, wait, how much? 400 hit points between fights. So, he had 800 health. Next blight will have 1200, then 16, then 2000. Thunder Blight, you can only face with, uh, melees, really. Not much bow time. So, basically, you gotta kill him early, otherwise, he's gonna scale to all hell. There we go. So, just for today, because we, yeah, got through this pretty decently. And we didn't do too much before the beast, like, after we got the Rio Village. So, I'm just going to probably just get the rest of uh, the armor, do that first upgrade. Then, uh, you know, go to Hestu. Well, I'll be plucked. Okay. You defeated him, eh? Yeah, <laughs> I'll be plucked. Yeah, the bomb arrow strat won't work uh, for, well, it'll work on, what's it, what, what's his name? The, the the water, water blight. Okay, how am I forgetting the names of very basic bosses here? Uh, it'll work for that, but yeah, can't really use on fire blight and even thunder blight. So we just need better ways to break them down a bit. Uh, the quest counters for cast quests. All the run info was in the description, so. The panels, rather. Okay. At least that's done. And we got our Revali Scale. This is my favorite champion ability. Because it just allows flight to be even easier. And more convenient. Oh. I am saving Ruta for last. Yep. Is this the Wobbler's Nest? I have to go. Uh, oh, never mind. I thought it would kick me back into it. Because sometimes it does. Ancient Rito song? Okay. <laughs> well, for our next step to do this, I think our first priority is uh, getting more weapon slots because they're all pretty weak and uh, we just need Homer bows too. Mm -hmm. Where are we going for this? There's something we want to do first. We'll come back for the Revali bow when we really need it, because we're only using it once, so. Okay. Where are we going? I don't... Why is my mind blinking out? The shop. But first things first, we can't leave here without becoming a true Rito. <laughs> Let us sell everything we got. We have to get the 1,000. And not bad. Ooh. We got some loose ancient parts to sell. We'll still have to carry us over from the beast. And just like that. So close. Spring. Hmm. We're literally going to sell... Okay, maybe not that. What can we sell? <laughs> Crap. Y 
Yeah, we're literally just gonna wipe ourselves pretty much clean, I think. <laughs> it's the only way. Hmm. 40. You know, I, I got a, I got a strategy. Okay. If we cook some of the stuff up and then sell it, we'll be good. There we go. Plus four, we got the hardy. We don't need uh, coal resistance because we got this, but. Hmm. Beetle and Fang. Mighty Elixir. Just get some random stuff for us. And the Wild Berries. There we go. Gonna hop off? Okay. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> and yeah, this has been fun. We still got a bit left. But then more tomorrow. And that'll be... Usually the second stream is always the biggest. Because we always do a Double Divine Beast bash in there. So... At least we have some cooked meals to sell. We can <laughs> we can do over peppers. 50 rupees for that. And top it all off. Stamina one. Let's do that. There we go. And a slab of meat takes us just to a thousand. Yeah, most things there, but that's okay. Because we will get snow cool headdress. There it is. And put it on ourselves. Boom. The full Rito aesthetic. It's not too much of a change, but it's a really nice blit. Uh, it's a really nice braid and a feather there. So <laughs> I like it a lot. And look at that. We are now a true Rito instead of just Hylian Rito. Well, besides just one piece of equipment, we could take a uh, good use for. So. Don't worry, we will let that. We will nab the shield sometime soon, though. Okay. Uh, so I think from here. Yeah, it'll just be smart to take a horse. We'll go all the way there, and boom. So. Okay. Um, Great Plateau Tower. We'll have to do some good wind bombs. Okay. Well, this will be a nice tail off because I think, uh, yeah, has to. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. We got good weapons. Uh, we'll just bonk everything off like we always do. And with our seeds, yeah. Um, We'll get two nice bow slots for ourselves. Quarks are actually going to be pretty important in this run. <laughs> Surprisingly. Okay. Great Plateau Tower. I think it's time for a bit of light mode. <laughs> I would say so myself. There we go. <laughs> the power of the burb. Ooh. Should go on Scouts Hill. There is a there is a Quark seat there. I do remember that. Scouts. Mm. I think we'll go this way. You're fine. A little bit more stamina. There's a lot of shrines that have Rito stuff in it, um, so that'll be helpful. And just doing the cast stuff, you know. It's all stuff we can do. There we go. Nice. I was debating going to the stable getting uh getting our pigeon, but nah. Some of this, then we'll we'll call him at the next stable. And we can do some cast stuff too. That'll be helpful. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Just like that. These are all great wind bombs. 
or bird boomies in this case. Yeah, this isn't too bad. It's it's peaceful. There is a radar shield, but it's just kind of far. So I wasn't really prioritizing it right now, per se. Or at least it, it was a little off course or decent, but yet it could go plunge into Hebra pretty decently. So the slots are more important. And then while we're over here, we can do the start and cast things because he has a bunch of stuff over here to do. Okay. I can't wait to start Nabor though, because that's that's gonna be something trying to fight Thunderblight with weak weapons. <laughs> Got a nice uh, start there, I would say. Yeah, we're not gonna use the final jump, I think. Ah. Extra shield slot? No. Uh, there is only four kite shields in the world, and they don't respawn, so there's only four shield slots. Silver rupee, nice. And <laughs> we'll spend that on uh, the Great Fairy, so we can upgrade this gear. There we go. Another. Oh, not good at those. <laughs> Ouch! Okay, good thing we healed right there. We are very, very close to where we need to be. Yeah, wind bombing takes a heart every time, so it's like, you gotta manage it well, I would say. <laughs> mm. Okay. What you doing? Nothing important, okay. <laughs> ah. Alright. There's a Sheikah weapon up there. Obviously can't have that. Uh, not a good wind bomb opportunity, I would say. Besides maybe that little thingy. Yeah, I'm not going to attempt the mid airs that I really am not good at. And, yeah. Aha, a chest. <laughs> I always like these. Because... Oh, we get a flint. Okay, wow. That's some OP loot. Ah. Okay, going this way. Yeah, I don't think there's much else. We'll go to Dueling Peak Stable, then we'll take down, uh... Yeah. Hestu's evil, uh... Bullies. <laughs> Haven't played this game in a while and you lost your parry and flurry timing. It's one of those things. Yeah, it's so specific. So it's like, I, I totally get that. If you don't play every so often, it's like crap. Oh, there's a lone traveler just sitting here. Farm fresh and ready. What, what do you, why do you have a shop here? No, <laughs> not by the Lizzles. Uh, I'll buy some meat though. No, too expensive. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I have not many rupees to spare. You cannot. Yeah, come get some. He's not going to do anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> they never do. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Mm. We're going about the right way. I'm going to at least get those maracas. Uh, and... Just whatever's over here. There's like the one or two cast quests I can just do. Because it's like, oh, yeah, might as well. Because they're here. And then the next stream will be in Rito Village. We'll probably start by just getting uh, our kite shields. So that'll be nice. And it's more looting now that we'll have spots. Uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. Aha. Whoop. Okay. Just like that. <laughs> you can't do anything about it. Oh, he's got shock arrows. What? Why was he shooting down there? That's not where he's supposed to do. That's not where I am. What even is this? Rusty? No. Over though. Shock arrows are something I like. Nope. Oh, we'll get him. 
That's something we can't have. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, this will be a good way to get uh, the Rito weapons once those enemies respawn at a Blood Moon. <laughs> we'll get a positive durability trade then. Hmm. Okay. Save up here. You didn't miss the end? Awesome. Welcome back, Platinum. Uh, yeah, we're just doing the... the yeah. <laughs> Hestu stuff. Some of the cast stuff around here. And I don't think a Blood Moon's gonna happen. M maybe start an next stream is gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, I wanna make sure to get that. Because probably only gonna be like two windows to get that Blood Moon. At minimum. For the Blood Moon Shrine for Cass. Alright. <laughs> Well, we got Pigeon back. Uh, now we're close to... Has to. Gotta get those slots. There we go. Yeah! Oh, no! Wait, what happened? What? No, 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 no! Uh, that, that wasn't right. <laughs> I have no idea. That was too much. Okay. Opal. We need money. Oh. We're poor as a feather right now. We're still poor, <laughs> rather. <laughs> birds, 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 birds. Okay. Yeah, after this cast, you're the bomb arrow guy. So we're not gonna mess with you. <laughs> oh, no, okay, that's bad. Crap, we'll get the other shrine for the war point. I totally forgot. I skim past so, so many of these so fast sometimes. But it's okay. <laughs> Look at that Kakariko war point. Hmm. Hello. Who it is? It's these guys. They're always up to no good. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, really not good. Okay. Hmm. Luckily, we have the premier strats. Oh, ow. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't flip it up to me, actually. No. That wouldn't be a good strat. Well, that's a decently better strat. Nope. <laughs> Broke bow. Uh. Not good. Ah! Okay. Uh, activate the Rito flying run. Boop. That's not awful. That's two. <laughs> not for you? Hmm. Feisty. That was supposed to work. <laughs> okay. Oh, a little spin attack? Okay. <laughs> really a little one. He's on my crate. No, you're not. Okay. Wait. Yeah, Apple. Okay. That's the end of their story. Whoosh. Nice sploosh. Right up here. And... Get those fun maracas. Whoosh. Hey, arrow. <laughs> Just the leaf. I like the pattern on these. Never really realized it, but yeah, it's like a triangular. It's cool. It's not just like a leaf. It's a special leaf. Mm. What, do we have three seeds, right? I want to say three seeds. 
Five. Okay. Well, that's a good amount. All right. <laughs> Get the beetle. We'll say that for beetle. <laughs> Admire the leaf for the next hour or so. And of course the maracas, which we need a lot of weapons. And also just arrows. I feel like, uh, you know, since the bulls have pretty high durability, uh, yeah, the bulls have really high durability. So uh, it's mainly going to be arrows that are more so a problem, but still going to have a lot of bows. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Bow stash, that'll be nice. Yeah, green. Slot one. <laughs> yeah, two arrows. And bow stash again. Okay, not bad. Look at the time. All right. Well, we got two bow stashes right there. So uh, that'll be nice. We can have more variety. So it'll just come down to needing more arrows, which we'll get some good ones along the way, especially killing some archers or uh, buying them. Okay. Yeah, no blood moon tonight. But tomorrow night, maybe. So. Okay. Yeah. And weapons also be helpful. To, maybe like one or two. But I think even just with the base lots, we can take down Thunderblight. If we have that attack up. Yeah, we should be able to. And that's main, the main occasion why we would need them. We can use bows for a lot of other things. I look super clear today. Uh, yeah, there is a new webcam, so I should be more clear. Uh, and we had some problems earlier. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> mm. Okay. Kakariko. There's one nice thing we can do here, and talk to the great fairy at least. It looks nice, thank you. It's not too different. It's just more consistent, at least hopefully, with like the lighting, no random blurs. So I feel like it was a needed upgrade. Just apple. Yes. Oh, I think we. Oh, crap. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you need to talk to Impa in order for the dragons to spawn, and we need one of the dragon scales for uh, one of the quests. So I need to quickly go through this. Yeah. For the cast quest, uh, which we should start actually, because there's some nearby. So you're finally awake. Mm -hmm. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now. Okay. We can skim this for sure. <laughs> Bridge Apple, of course, we gotta check out. <laughs> As Dorito. Huh. Oh. Huh. There we go. Oh. Oh. Okay. I think you just talk, we can skip the cutscene. Because we need the dragon to spawn. Uh, to get a scale for one of the cast quests where you find the Spring of Courage. So we'll have to do that. And this is the trigger for it, so. <laughs> the history of the There we go. <laughs> young Impa. I like Young Impa from Age of Calamity. Yeah. 
Cool spring of courage. Okay. Oh, we got one. <laughs> okay. Tunnel village? Yes. Okay. Don't need the camera on this run, so we don't have to do the whole blue flame thing, which is helpful. <laughs> Well, there we go with that. Iron Shroom, it's always there. Make the bread, I don't have the wheat, do I? Yeah, we didn't have money. Uh, we will make the bread though. We'll be, we'll be stocked soon, hopefully. <laughs> we also need money for the uh, Gerudo stuff too. <laughs> okay, well that was that. Oh, Bridge Apple, no, wait. I was like, wait a second, something didn't feel right. Uh. And yeah, rubber snails, why not? <laughs> They're here, so. Oh, he's running. Aha, yeah. Aha? Uh -huh. Exactly. What is this? It's the bridge apple. Yes. <laughs> Always oh, just, just chilling there, you know? It's having a good time. It's watching the water flow and the imaginary fishies. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff, bridge apple. Eggy! Yeah! Free egg. <laughs> this is how we accumulate our wealth. First the egg, then the bird. I should be nicer to the bird, so. Hello, Kuko. <laughs> We're both birds, it's okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoop. Oh! <laughs> Can't take the bridge apple, that's disrespectful. Ah, cricket, no. Oh, we got it, okay, nice. No bloopy, probably scared it off. By being really loud. Oh, bloopy, hello. Ooh. Nice little bit. <laughs> yeah, why not? Freeze. Yeah, I'm only gonna try to get the second arrow, you just always miss. <laughs> Fairies! Oh, that's good. Run us from some uh, stupid deaths. Okay, they're all surface level, so you can nab them all quick. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> Get all the nightshades, there's so many around, and sound princesses, because they're cool. Yeah, really cool. Fairy exploit? Nah. Uh, I mean, we already got four of them, so. Whoosh. Endura carrot. Okay. Looking pretty good, I would say. <laughs> Alright. Examine this. Boy. Sweet boy. <laughs> okay. Luckily, we have at least a small bit of rupees. A hundred? <laughs> we have just enough. Okay. Aha! <laughs> The max amount of fairies, I don't know what the max people got. It revolves a little bit at, I, I guess, kind of exploiting. Like, if you do the thing where you hold the fairies and walk to the fountain, you can get more. Because it's not registered in your inventory. Because if you have more, like, more than a few fairies in your inventory, they will stop spawning. So, I forgot exactly. But as long as I have a couple, I'm fine. Huh? Don't have any clothing I can enhance? Uh, <laughs> okay, take a look. Uh... Red choo choo jelly. Yeah, we don't have, uh, well, that, but we do have normal choo choo jelly. So. Ah! 
Yeah, luckily for us, <laughs> got lots of this. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Got a lot of that. We got some wood. And one more fire arrow, very conveniently. Yeah, let's get it. Red choo-choo jellies. <laughs> Perfect. Come, they spill. We'll just keep eating them into the fire until we have enough. <laughs> Whoosh, transform. <laughs> There we go, and they're falling right there. Just like popcorn. Nice. <laughs> Throw. <laughs> oh, okay, good. That all stopped. So, 14 of them, nice. Hansi's away? Yep. Okay, we have plenty. Only three each for a nice uh, upgrade there. Three to five. Another three to five. <laughs> Just more defense. That'll be cool. And when they hit level two, uh, we'll get the unfreezable set. So it'll be really nice if we go into the winter areas to get more uh, of the really good Rito weapons. Uh, mm. They'll require some uh, extra bugs though. Some of the dragonflies, but we'll get them. <laughs> we didn't start the fire. Okay, well, it's all level five now, or <laughs> five defense, level two. Uh, Here we go. Slightly souped up. Okay. Well. Let's go call our horse. Mm. Next to Vacha stream one. <laughs> Probably when she comes over next. She hasn't been over in a while. So. But yeah, that'll be fun. I'll have to do some more Breath of the Wild or something. So. Okay. All right, pigeon. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess while we're in the area, uh, there is a fellow Rito to help, actually. It's gonna be a nice Rito reunion here. Yeah, just past the gate down here. It's okay, Pigeon. You're going to meet him soon. He's probably one of the best characters just in this game. So, love that. Okay. Let's go. Oh, that is a buck. Let's go talk with him first. Aha, who is that? <laughs> I recognize that theme from anywhere. Hey, it's Cass. Yeah, Crown of Bone. Oh, he wanted to go away. He's scared. No, it's okay. Be with your kind. Oh, pff. no, he scared him. Hello. <laughs> yeah. We can help you out. Have you never met a Rito before? I'm slightly offended, but uh, I'll just take it. <laughs> wow. He doesn't see me as one of his own, I guess. A beast that wears a crown of bone, prancing through the lush green. Mount the beast upon the throne, for only then the shrine is seen. I love these riddles so much. <laughs> well, we can help you with this. The 
There should be some in the forest, I would say. Oh, or maybe not. Okay. Hey, nice crawl on a bone there. Oh, wait, no, don't get away. Uh, <laughs> gotta intercept here somehow. Come on, I am not ugh, trained enough for this. Come on, I'm not fast enough. Come on, get stuck, please. Switch D-pad sucks. Okay. Uh, the D-pad and the poor controller is not good. That's why I kept doing that. <laughs> Are you, that's a crown of bone. That should count, right? Oh, well, looks like I found my answer. <laughs> okay, they're all scared, but the buck is still confused. Hmm. There's only one proper way to solve this. <laughs> Gotta use the true bird tactic. Revali, help us out here. Oh, he's sitting down. Wow. <laughs> that is neat. He does not know what's coming from. Yeah, mounting. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Crown of bone. Now this is an aesthetic. <laughs> Whoosh. Okay. <laughs> Wait. We gotta go for it. Yeah, the spin. <laughs> Mm. Whoosh. Ah, oh, Revali's Gale's so nice, so happy we had it for that. So, okay. There you go, Cass. There is your beast with crown of bone. Could use ice here. I just don't want to. I wouldn't have killed it. Uh, I forgot how much health he have, but that's what he used for. Uh, you know, horses, because they have more health. There we go, shrine. Okay, Cass. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> it is antlers. <laughs> Alright, Cass. Hope that was able to help. <laughs> One out of eight done. Uh, let's actually mark it. <laughs> Wait, I need to find out where I actually had it. There we go. <laughs> so I forgot where my overlay was for that. Not pulled it up yet. Alright, Cass. <laughs> All done. One out of eight quests done for him. <laughs> well, I'll mop bit by bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Gruda ones? Yeah. There is a... And there's one where we gotta like pierce the sun or whatever. We can do that eventually. Ancient trifecta. Ooh. Yeah. But. Oh, that's not. Okay. Yeah, we need arrows. Always talk, always talk to Cass after, but before the shrine. Otherwise, you miss the dialogue. That's fair. There we go. Huh. Easy way to do these shrines. Oh, that was a uh, dangerous. <laughs> okay, don't win bomb that much. Can't use revival skill to write. <laughs> Divine beasts are a different story. Okay. Something a pathetic wound bomb can do, right? There we go. That was... Okay. <laughs> Not quite pathetic. Please. <laughs> Wait a second. It's probably not going to be something I need. <laughs> yeah, rip a fairy. See, it's, whenever I have fairies, I play kind of more recklessly. Just a little bit. Because I know I'm fine, which is maybe not a good habit. But... I do it anyways. 
that's probably like a weapon we can't have. Okay, let's actually just angle ourselves good. Okay. This shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> just like basketball. Shoot it in. Oh, just barely. <laughs> Inside the net. Good. <laughs> Use burn mode to uh, bypass all these shrines. Okay. More orbs means more stamina soon. The Blood Moon and Lightning one took the most time. Uh, most other ones are straightforward. That makes sense. I mean, Lightning, yeah, you just gotta get the metal. Uh, that works, and then... Yeah. And Blood Moon, just make sure to get it right away. <laughs> Okay, so Cass is also over there, right? Okay, and there's also another Cass quest uh, over there on the far side of uh, Lanero. But we're closest right now. So, shall we flop to it? Boop. Yeah! <laughs> There's too many Rito bird puns, uh. <laughs> hey, it's the game that used them first, not me. <laughs> I'm just repeating it in spirit, so. Bird puns are great, thank you. <laughs> oh my, I'm doing good, thanks for asking. Uh, yeah, we're just doing the little final bits of questing before we really start tomorrow with two more Divine Beasts, and yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was actually pretty fast. <laughs> We're just going around. Rip to the horse, but this is, yeah, faster. <laughs> Okay, this is the wind one. You gotta do that. <laughs> Should we wind bomb to the wind one? Yeah, maybe one more. The sword kept sl slipping off and lightning was missing the rock. Uh, eventually, you just had to bite the bullet and get hit yourself. Oof. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. Special attributes of the Rito Spear? Absolutely nothing. Uh, it's not a special spear, from what I know. Okay. <laughs> More of these loose chests along the way. Not bad. <laughs> Money, yes, thank you. And more. The bomb arrows will have to clutch it, kind of. Crab. Yeah, we'll get all the stuff. Defense, who knows what we need. Think it flies farther? I'm not sure if it has an extended Thorn range. That's actually one that I don't think I looked into too much. At least I don't remember. I just know Thorn Spear does, so. But maybe. Okay. <laughs> Here is the second location for uh, one of Cass's riddles. Special attributes. 90% wood, yet it counts as a metal weapon. That, that's, that's fair. Yeah. That is special in a sense. <laughs> Alright, here we are. <laughs> the wind tunnels. Cass, what do you got? <laughs> Let's hear it. Ooh. He breaks the rocks that serve to bind above the tempestuous bay. That's, that's a ward, right? Uh, <laughs> on wings of cloth and wood entwined, he lands on the altar to open the way. Okay, so it's going to be a, a whole wind maze. Yeah, it is very light, the spear. <laughs> Master of the wind. Oh, 
Don't mind me. I just got some pathways to open up here. Just like that. Boop. And... Boom. Okay, good. <laughs> Basically, gotta do this in one consistent flight. Which means opening that up, too. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Zing on by. Crab Island, yeah! <laughs> wow, it's a whole family. Stealing them all. Ooh, and Luminous. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, that's that's really nice. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Her secret bonus way to complete this quest is to turn off the switch and play Wind Waker. You instantly obtain the title of Master of Wind. Yes. Damn. We just need that, uh, that past, that past Link rep to help us out. <laughs> that. At least we didn't get hit. I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> there is a bit of a problem. Screw it. Just, okay. Just one. Fine. <laughs> I caved. Cave. There's a big cluster there. Let's do that. Close enough. Come on, get this Korok. We would like more slots, please. Okay. <laughs> One of these rock circle Koroks. These are always fun, right? <laughs> Far from it. Just like that was not good enough. Okay. <laughs> but this one... This is going to be the game changer. And shoots and scores. Good. <laughs> okay. More Koroks. Well, to get more slots. Uh... Right. Where is it? Not actually going to be worrying about shield slots because you can only have uh, four of them. And there's only four Riddle shields, uh, which we'll get those soon, actually. So, yeah, we, we need that. I think. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Nice. I think that's it for us. Well, look at that. Perfect. Now we gotta fly right on. So what was, like, the route for this? Uh, you just use... Uh, Use Krinos for those to make walls around the rock circle? That's not a bad idea. Maybe I should start doing that. <laughs> there we go. We fly. We go over there. I know this isn't going to be it. Yeah. We need height, obviously. But let's go to the starting area. Um, because it's some sort of consistent wind gust pattern here. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay. There we go. Flying over here. You have to do it all in one go, right? That's not just me. I think that's just, uh... Going around, and 
<laughs> am I, am I, ugh. what am I doing wrong here? I'm skidding, like a lot. Cast the man. All you have to do is ride the final big gust. You don't have to do it all at once. <laughs> I guess I always did that or attempted to. Oh, damn, I was trying to be cool. Okay, let's go this way and then speed this way. Oh, whatever. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Whoosh. Yeah, this seems... I did something like... I think it was a, an abridged version of it. All right. Ready to go on the little path we created? It's not too bad. <laughs> there we go. Speed flight. Something I'm all too used to by now. Whoa. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Could use revolve skill? I don't. I think you have to gust from somewhere there. I forgot exactly how it's calculated, but speaking of mathematically, okay, I'll stop. Uh. It's quite literally just throw some bombs around. Not too bad. <laughs> okay, there we go. And master of the wind, we mastered it. We already mastered the wind bombs, uh, but just the wind isn't too bad. Do we need to talk? To I don't think. Yeah, he just has a different dialogue, which is like cool. Mm. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the prompt where I can update my screen thing. Okay, let me do it before I forget. Two out of eight done. Okay. We're doing good. Let's get the shrine. Okay, Cass has been helped. So we'll get the shrine. Um, and then we're back to Rito Village. And yeah. We start off by doing the stamina upgrades. Boom. Just a blessing. What's it going to be? Great flame blade. Sorry. Is there another cast quest? Which one? I don't think there is. Wait. I mean, there's the jungle stuff, but we're going to do that a little bit later. Because there's the jungle and the bay. Because the bay is closer to the jungle. Okay. Whoosh. Uh. Okay. The hero's treasure? Yeah, that's closer to the jungle, isn't it? Because I was going to do the, the two jungle ones and that one all together later. Well, there we go. Four spirit orbs. Uh, <laughs> easy blessing. We can at least get a... Yeah, we can get a stamina upgrade. Uh, we should do that in Rito Village. Yeah. We'll figure it out right after this. Yeah. 74 rupees. We'll get more money. It's okay. And arrows and all that fun stuff. Yeah, so before we help out cast some more, uh, last objective is, well, hmm. yeah, we can definitely use with a lot more stamina, so I think a trip to Rito Village uh, would help to get that, and uh, also a lot more gear, including a shield for us, so we'll have to get that and take an adventure into Hebra, so let's go do it, but not today, tomorrow, so right there, we'll pause it, save, Boom. Yeah, so in the next stream, I'm going back to our hometown to the stamina upgrade. Uh, then get some more gear for us and explore into Hebra to get the fabled Rito shield. So we'll get all of them. Let's, you know, I think that's a good plan and I'm just excited. So, okay, I'm not going to get too excited before I can actually do it. And we'll do more cast quests. So it's going to be that stuff. We'll do some more cast quests. And two Divine Beasts, so I'm thinking probably Naboris and Rudania. And then the final stream we'll do Ruta, whatever else we need for looting and cast stuff, and then finale. So, thank you all for tuning in. The stream was almost four hours, so, yeah. Usually the stream's about three and a half hours each till we finish, so final one will be Monday, next one tomorrow. So, 
it'll be fun. And thank you to everyone who's been watching and just chilling. Because this one is really chill, and I like this run. Especially after some just really crazy runs that we did. I mean, this one, you know, is definitely a lot of fun. But it's just going to be more stocking up and, you know, doing stuff that's helpful for us uh, in the long run. But, you know what? I'm excited. I just double saved because that's what I do. And... Yeah, I'll post an announcement for it on the Discord server. That's also where I have the map of the Rito weapon, so if you aren't a part of it already, yeah, Discord link and chats. Also in the panels, where I keep the run rules. Uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. I know some people have just joined near the end. Uh, but if you did, yeah, doing tomorrow, then the day after, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, hope you guys have a great night. We'll be back tomorrow at roughly 2 p.m. Eastern time. That's when we've been doing this. And yeah, let's we'll see if we can do more, keep the death counter, maybe right where it is. And boom. <laughs> Uh, I hope you guys have a great night, have a great Saturday, and uh, I will see you all hopefully tomorrow. Have a good one, guys.